All right. I apologize for the delay. I uh, was having a little bit of trouble with my OBS. I'm not really sure why. But we got it worked out. We got it fixed. For some reason, it kept on crashing. I would open it up and I would try to adjust something on the screen and it would just crash. And I had a feeling it would do that midstream. So had to do a little bit of back end adjusting. But AJ, you are first. How are you today? Hopefully a little bit more put together than I am. But we got it worked out we go <clears throat> just getting home from work today so everything's a little bit behind speed x what's going on man how are you how you doing good to see you back with your old speed x name too i'm uh i'm assuming not the uh the alt account or what have you i am as you can see a little bit disorganized right now but excited one didn't get to play any kingdom come deliverance yesterday usually when i do these challenge runs i don't like taking a break because it kind of throws me off sarctic hey how are you good to see you um yeah i don't like taking a break because now i legitimately don't remember kind of where we left off but we'll figure it out i'm not too worried i know we did privacy of it i know that for a fact but you know once we load in we'll kind of see but uh, now we are one day. Guys, literally tomorrow. Tomorrow's the announcement from Warhorse. And I am both excited and nervous just because I, I don't want to be let down. I don't think I will be. I'll, I'll, I'll say that right now. I don't think I will be. But it's, still, it's, it's not nervous. Uh, uh, that's the wrong word to use. Anxious. I just want to know. Like the same thing for six years, we've all been wondering. We just want to know. And I'm sure everyone else is in the same vein excited, anxious, you know, just want to almost like rip the band aid off and like, okay, how bad's it going to be? Or how good's it going to be? Whichever way you want to look at it. But let me load into the game. We'll see where we're at. We'll kind of do our start of the day introduction. Speedex just after work, waiting for the stream. All right. I apologize being. A couple minutes late, but hopefully that means a bit of consistency on the stream and it won't crash on us. Let's let's hope and pray. Let's not do that again. Those days of my streams crashing are over. Happened once, never again. Let's hope. Oh. And I am just after work as well, so. Not too bad. I believe it was Tough Love. Tough Love is... Oh, that's right. Herman. I already know where we're at. Yes. We just got the executioner laid. We had completed Privis Lovitz. Let's check back in with our boy Henry. Oh, that's right. And we lost our spear. I know exactly where we're at. Yep. So we had just come back from Privis Lovitz. Unfortunately, I can't check my stats as... As expected in this run, uh, we still got to sleep, so let's wait until morning. I know exactly where we're at. Comes back pretty quick. Good time zones. Hey, Rahan, how are you today, tonight? Happy time zones, happy morning, evening, nighttime. If W's in the chat, he's probably pulling another all-nighter. That crazy lunatic. I think he stayed up. All night for our first two streams. I couldn't believe it. Literally all the way until sunrise. That crazy fool him. Or her. Let's see. Let's get that debuff gone. We're going to need the nourishment. And we can... Get this going for today. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do today. Usually I kind of go into these streams... Um, what time is it? Right now, it is 10 in the morning for me. Nacho, greetings from Germany. Greetings from the United States to you. How are you today? Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Hope you are well. 
Let's get this, uh, yeah, this nourishment up a little bit. And we can actually get yeah. cracking with what I want to do today. Um, as I was saying, I don't really know what I want to do. 17 and 11 here. Gotcha. Speed X. That would be, let's want? see. Uh -huh. Are you in Speed X? Don't tell me. That's somewhere in Europe. I want to say either. Are you the one that said you were in Czech? Somewhere in that area. I remember we had a conversation about it. I don't remember exactly when because that was a few months ago now. German. <laughs> <laughs> you know this game is not a big fan Position. the only german we really meet we throw shit at so i'd keep that but down no money first though fine here it is i'm sure you'll uh. be extremely sad god bless I, I'm not saying I would do that. Poland. Yes, that's right. Kurwa. Okay. I knew I was in the area. I knew I was somewhere in that area. That's right. We talked about the uh, the origins of Kurwa. How what a uh, what a useful phrase that is and how it was a little bit of everything. How you could use it in many different ways and it still makes sense. That is correct. Um... Hmm. What main story or what side quest can we do? And what is actually our next main story quest that we need to do? So that's Vagabond. Oh, we can do, um, we can drink with Hans. Yeah. That's always a fun one. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get drunk with Hans. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I've, I've thought a little bit. A little bit down on this quest since my no healing run when uh, when Hans kind of kind of screwed me a little bit, but it's still a fun quest. I'm not gonna hold that against it. Well, Much as I'd like to, I won't. Victor of the rat -eyed. How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am. We'll For all the good it go does. a little bit with Hans the here. Boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the. This world is but a child. Actually, talks to me as if I were already dead. Why to the well? <laughs> it does. Have you ever seen Clara? How much time do you want to? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. How much? Oh, wrong what one. I... I won't lie. Why? I sh... All right, take care. Okay, so we got the bass quest rolling. What else can we do in Ratai that's pretty fun? What other side quests are available to us after Privis Levis? Oh, you know, I wouldn't say no to doing the Band of Bastards on this run. That might be fun without inventory, just to see how well we can, uh, how well we can do everything without having like the crutch of, of the bow. And, uh, you know what, for, for this one, just to up the stakes a little bit, we get one attempt at it. So no saves coming if, um, if Kuno dies at any point and that quest line fails, we fail. So I feel like that kind of ups the stakes. It's not like, you know, because usually you can you can go through, you can follow Kuno and you can kind of pick off people with, with a bow and arrow before he gets attacked. Now we'll kind of have to be on the offensive to keep Kuno safe. And with us not having any armor, I feel like that ups the stakes a little bit. I and Plus, it's been several playthroughs that I haven't done the Band of Bastards, so... I really want to do that. Okay. The plan is set for today. Let's... Let's think. We already helped them get jobs. Oh, we need to go claim our rewards. Are our rewards available for giving the Scalish refugees jobs? It's usually a couple days after they start grabbing the water that you can go back to them and they actually reward you for giving them jobs. Let's see... Um, I don't see any of them. They might, they might still all be asleep. Oh, oh, I know exactly what we can do. Can we talk to this guy? God be with you. Not yet. Okay. That tells me all I need to know. If, if Anthonia, if Anthonia has the option to talk about her husband, then they should all be 
set. If she doesn't, then we gotta wait another couple days. Good health to you. Nacho, I am too. Very excited. All right. And you good luck then. Oh, we never finished the quest. We still got to go back to the bailiff about a cook. Let's actually finish that. Shoot. Atharva, hello, hello. How are you? Thanks for stopping in. Baron's wife. Here she is. We got to assign Agnes. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. What Before an I oversight. Did. Before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. I'm looking for a good cook. So it's he. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good Father food. Father Francis. Father Francis. Shut up. Why not? Because I'm... But I heard... Don't pay any attention. Father Francis... What? Well... But... That's... But he's... He... No... They're sending him away. But what will I? He didn't want to drag you away somewhere. That's true. I'm sure he'll be well. You could have a good life. Very well. I'll go and work for him. God bless. I really didn't want to have to run all the way to Sasau or, or even uh, take my horse all the way to Sasau just to complete that quest. So I'm glad we were able to convince her to work for Hagen. Okay. Go back to the bailiff. He'll assign all the refugees once we get this cook job assigned. My respects to you. <laughs> Carrying shit is very important. I agree with you. I chose a cook as well. Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. <laughs> is there I any other options for the cook job the cook other than Blending Agnes? It. I'm curious because I've tried to look. I don't think you can assign anyone by Agnes. It just it's it feels weird to me that it's its own dialogue option, and then it actually... Take care of it. You have to select it, like, out of a list. Is there any other people we can assign for that cooking job other than Agnes? If you know, uh, leave me a comment, because I'm genuinely curious. I don't think there is, but... I don't know. Who am I to tell? Maybe Kunesh. We can assign Kunesh as the cook. Cook up some moonshine for us. God All right. With you, Henry. Whatever, Rock. Mm, no. Bye. Okay. Twenty-six hours, forty-one minutes. Man, you've got it down to a science. How many seconds, Atharva? I feel like you have like a countdown timer going. The fact that you know that to the to the minute. I bet you know it down to the second too. Someone get me a countdown timer of exactly how much time we have left. And they posted another couple pictures on it. They uh they just posted this morning. It looked like a guy waiting in a church, like at a at a pew looking up at at the altar so they are yeah. definitely posting oh my goodness see look i'm so scattered i'm so excited i just got on my horse is that cow dead did we just pass a dead cow no it's just laying down it looked like it was on its side and dead yeah. it'll be kcd 100 percent. i think so too I mean, I know they're trying to... I, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to be obscure, and they're trying to mess with us by saying, like, well, it could be, or it could be something else, but the backlash would be... It would be such a disadvantage for them to not take on the popularity that Kingdom Come Deliverance has right now. Like, it's become a cult classic. It wasn't really all that well-liked or talked about when it came out by, by the large community. Like, I've always loved it. It feels only recently that a lot of the gaming channels, like, whenever they used to do the game reviews, I remember when this game came out in 2018, and it was all the channels like IGN, 
Uh, what other ones was I was I watching at the time? I think outside Xbox. I would get genuinely excited. Any of those channels that did like the top 10 list, like top 10 games where you had an open world or the most realistic environments, I would get like my heart would skip a beat whenever I would see them even mention Kingdom Come Deliverance. So it never felt like it got the traction that it deserved early on. And I, I have a feeling it was due to the bugs. I have a feeling it was due to the bugs and uh it wasn't really like that that might be why it flew under the radar now it feels like the time is there for it to if they make the announcement for kcd2 it feels like the time that everyone would actually get behind it so if it's not kcd2 i i feel like it would be a missed opportunity by warhorse and they're not stupid i i, I think they know what they're doing um, they're just trying to have a little bit of fun. Rompel, what's going on? How are you? Good to see you. Glad to be back. Uh, the, that was the other thing that I needed to do. I have not repaired my, oh boy, we, that's right. We looted a bunch of the battlefield. We got to sell all this stuff. We got a lot of stuff to sell. Here we go. We got a black hood there. Ooh. Some good, decent black hoods, too. Oh, and he has no money. Uh, what about... Did we also sell out the... Taylor? I don't remember if we absolutely, um... Sold him out. No, we didn't. Okay, good. Get some stuff off him. Make sure not to mess with the bomb brace. Perfect. Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? Well, see, but the other thing about that speed X, the good and the bad thing about being such a big developer like Grand Theft Auto, you have so many people involved. You have so many nice that it's. It's actually, I feel like it would be easier to I leak something from Rockstar because they have, you know, how many? Between Rockstar North, Rockstar South, I'm sure they all have an idea of what their studio is working on. If you have a friend that works for one studio. I mean, how many employees are we talking about with Rockstar? A thousand? Fifteen hundred? Like, uh, how many? I, I genuinely don't know. But, I mean, I would imagine yeah. that it's a massive between you know accountants and between developers and between game testers and and you know just all the employees that go through rockstar studios it would be so easy for you know the fucking janitor there to walk into a room and see a concept yeah. or see a design or see a trailer and you know go on his on his post or on on the dark web and leak something like there's so many holes and leaks whereas a developer like kingdom come you know, they might have a team of 20, 25, you know, if that, it's such a, such a small studio that I feel like they're able to shore up the holes pretty well. <laughs> 95,804 seconds when writing this com comment. Wow. Makes it feel so much longer. When you yeah. say that, let's say 1.1 days. That's, that makes it feel like it's right around the corner. Seconds just feel like yeah. so far away. Well, part of the main line. So, SpeedX, we just finished uh, Um yeah. which is a good point. Let's go to the castle so we can we can get our prompt to go to Mirhoyed. That's also going to send... Radzig all the way over to the Merhead soldiers camp and we can kind of get cracking. I do want to do band of bastards I want to do some bit. side quest. what quick search. I don't have anything What for security reasons? I don't have shit. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what you game? bastard Ugh. Hmm. Oh. My lord I'm afraid you were right. Do they really have up to 200 employees? I didn't think that their studio was that big. What has happened? 
and reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> Is it really Henry, 200? I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for I you. I feel like... Join us. Hang on. My lords. Greetings, Hang on. Dad. Let's... Before I just keep Bandage on guessing. A few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also Let's find out. Yet, and that's a much more serious matter. Men are yet. Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pavislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them all. Oh, wow, they've grown. They yeah, they've grown. Company count. size, anywhere from 200 to 500 employees. So what does Rockstar employ? Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my Let's news see. is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Okay. That is to say, so you are right. They do have 200 employees. Uh, uh, between 200 and 500. Rockstar. I don't give a fuck what approximately you call it. I know what 6,400. Just, sir. So that is still the the difference between yeah 6600 6400 that's what I got to speed X. So I mean we're talking about a five thirty thirty three times more employees at Rockstar than there are at worth. Curva. Fuck. Yeah, it's still 33 times the size Rockstar is of, of Warhorse, so they're still pretty small comparatively to those big, big companies. This is why I was saying Hanush is my favorite. He just has these, like... That's all we need. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit find out their numbers and promptly cut off their supply of money otherwise they'll soon have another encampment if they haven't already i doubt it sir Merhayet wouldn't Who is this fucking bum well lad this bald bearded bum with you, no clothing my mind there would be this much you've already proved your worth as an investigator so i'm putting my faith in you again go to Merhayet and question that captive find out where those he is pretty are polish How many has a temper, a potty mouth, and entitlement. How much more Polish can you get? Uh, we could also get rolling on the band of bastards. That is true. If it was more, if it was more popular, but I mean, I feel like they were able to grow their employee base when they yeah. got bought out by, uh, or when they got brought into uh, Pylon. I feel like that's part of the reason that they did. Yeah. Um, I also need to think of some other places yeah. that we can get pole arms because those other two still haven't respawned we still have the five right there so i haven't forgotten about those but five more to do the side quests i mean i guess we can pick them up off random yeah. npcs i really wish that they respawned yeah. i really do this is such a this was going to be my crutch because it's always unlocked you don't really ever have to worry about getting in and out see that it's always open and these Fucking things are gone. What if I cleared out? I wonder. If I cleared out all of this, does it ever come back and maybe it'll respawn more stuff? Like, that could be the answer. What if we stole that? Mm, fuck it. We'll steal the shield and we'll see if that might respawn this whole area because that's where... That's where the uh, the pole arms were. I really don't want to take all this. It's going to make me over encumbered. I'm not going to have a way to, to drop it and I just have to hobble my way down yeah. to uh, to Peshex. So we'll see if that helps it. Um, otherwise, yeah. screw it. Let's talk to Radzig. 
get this band of bastards uh, started. Greetings. Sir, can I ask you about something? Of course, Henry. Well, I thought since we chased the bandits out of Pribislavitz. Ah, criticizing your liege lord, are you? And what, in your opinion, should he do about it? Oh, no, I don't mean anything by it. <laughs> Easy, lad. I'm only pulling your leg. My garrison is a shamble these days, let alone guarding the roads and patrolling the rest of the province. Uh-huh. I understand. Recently, I asked an old acquaintance for help. Well, excuse me for being so bold, but... You have a point, lad, but I'd like to tell you I talked to Kuno because I trust him. You see, Kuno owes me a favor. So, you want me to join them? Yes, but that's not all. Go and report to him at his encampment. Who is... Get some speech XP. There we go. Band of Bastards activated. I need a polar. TNK, you're right. Um, and see, I wasn't trying to necessarily get it to ruin the, the economic balance. It's just... It would be a convenient place to find a polearm, but it's okay. It's just another problem for us to solve You're right. It's for the better good It's for the better good That way we can't break the game too hard Welcome, Henry. So that leaves us with after this I think that's gonna be five guaranteed pole arms to complete out the rest of the game I feel good about that. I think there's a total of five or we might have taken one fuck We might only have we might only be down to four Not gonna lie. Okay, let's get in here I don't like those starting locations Nope even worse no, too far. We can get a better one than that. That one's pretty good. Any guards in here? There is. And these are the halberds. I'd like to save the halberds. Those are the best ones. I'd like to save those towards the end game. So... We're actually going to break into this one and steal. I, I forgot what's in there, but those Halbergs I want to save for uh, for some of the bigger battles, maybe Vranic and the big battle in Townberg. I'd rather I'd rather have those in my back pocket. You know what? We might actually. Yes. OK, we got hey, in here. You. What are you doing? That means I lose my temper. OK, we got that reforged oh. site. That's the one I'll use. We got in there. We can close it. Ah, oh, you dirty bastard! Dirty, dirty bastard! Arthava, I'm I'm used to the um, I'm used to the lock picking mechanic of it. I mean, it's it's also a challenge run. I feel like if I'm making certain game mechanics easier, plus this kind of I don't know ups the stakes a little bit for me. I don't mind the lock picking in the game. I really don't. I know some people have a problem with it, but I I've never used a simplified locking mechanic since the game came out. I I don't know. I don't think I'll start now. Oh, that's a really good starting place. Okay. Get this scythe. That's right. Yeah, we gotta we gotta kind of resort to them talking talking yeah. shit to us the whole time. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Olaf, you're still at work for the next hour and a half. We'll uh, we'll probably go a few hours today, so you might be able to catch uh, maybe the back half of the stream. But you're with us here in spirit.
focus on less skill but MMs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You are right. Camp should be up here. I mean, I don't think stealth is useless. It has its uses. And the thing is, don't think of stealth in this game like traditional, like games like Skyrim. You're either seen or unseen. Stealth can actually even help you even when you're not crouched down. Like, I've noticed when I had that um, super low noise uh, stealth, even if you're going in loud, what it does help you do is it only helps you aggro a certain part of a camp. So... I, I get where you're coming you from. Don't uh, don't get me wrong, TNK. But don't think of it as like either on or off so with stealth. Classic. It can help you with other skills alongside. Like I notice when I have a really low visibility, really low noise uh, armor set, even if I'm going in loud, only a couple of bandits will aggro, and the others from across the uh, from across the camp don't even notice you. So. It's got its passive bonuses. Um, I wish there was more missions that called for stealth, like you can't be seen, but most of the time those are implemented in games. They kind of, you know, like the Assassin's Creed games with like trailing missions. That's some of the worst ones. So I don't know. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to it's kill love a and take. fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, yeah. stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Ha. Sir? Ha. Well, sir? Jakey? Where the hell? Oh, yeah. I wish they also Henry did give some more right love to the unarmed. It would be cool to like be able to do more than just grapple and hit like if you could disarm or something like that. So I I know where you're coming from. I wish that I know how to handle a sword, all right? There was more uh perks for certain skills, but I mean, realistically, what else can you do with the sword skills other than learning new combos in a realistic game, you know? Oh wait, do we have a pole arm for it? Come on then. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we do have our pole arm. Nice. Fuck. Oh. Cool of a fix. I wonder what happens if we fail this. Like, does he just kick us out? Tell us that we suck and doesn't let us join? Oh yeah, we just lost. Like I said, I need someone who can handle a weapon well, and that's, that's not me. me. What? You're not going to take me? No, you just hold us back. But maybe you're just having a bad day. We'll be camping here for some time yet. So if you can whip yourself into shape, come back again. We'll see. Huh. Right. Thanks. Oh no! He made us bleed? And we lost. Oh my god. He made us bleed. That's not good. Oh god. Oh, and now we're yeah. in a fight? What the hell is going on with that bandit camp? Oh my god. We we need to you know what? We need to go to jail. I don't think I have enough time to make it. Uh, yeah. there's a bathhouse right here. Oh my god. That yeah. is bad. I didn't yeah. realize he could make us bleed. Oh, come on, please, 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 please. Go, buddy, go. Do we even have enough time to make it to this bathhouse? We might bleed out before we get there. Oh god. Yeah. Turn. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Let me talk to you. I'd like Ooh. Oh, boy, that was close. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay. Here it is. Too close for comfort. Seven hours. Oh, man. Now it's nighttime. Oof. Oof. 
Almost started off the uh, the stream today with a death. Narrowly avoided that one. Um. Hmm. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Plus, it's it, it, I only thought of this just now because it was nighttime. Now, before y'all go crazy, yes, you are 100% correct. It is a glitch. Do I care? No. Watch this. We're about to make ourselves OP. It's all it takes. It's just a save. I'm not breaking the rules. The rules are I cannot open my menu. Oh, wait. Hang on. No. No, that's not the way you work, game. You worked yesterday. You worked the last time. Hey, who's that? Do we not have our who's torch? That? Yeah. Do we not have our torch? Hey. Yeah. KCD style clock in your house? Yeah. That would be cool. Adres, yeah. 9 11 p.m., huh? Well, thanks for stopping in. Hopefully, uh, this can help you before bedtime. I don't know how, how late you go to bed, but hopefully. This can help you lead you into a restful night. Um, I need to figure out what the hell is going on with my torch because I'm pretty sure we have a torch. We should have a torch. We had a torch. We still have a torch. Okay. Why are you the way that you are? Let's save. Load. Come on now. Come on. There it is. All right. We still got our, our yeah. single hand pull on. Like I said, that's not breaking the rules. I never opened the menu. The menu was not open. That is not a glitch. That is a feature. And I'm standing by that. And now this fight should be easy. Oh, Adriz, your panther. Oh, okay. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you're on, uh... Oh, you're on, you're on dual accounts. Okay. Or swapping between one or the other. Um, where did Kuno go? And actually, oh wait, it looks like it gave us a bed right here, even though we failed. Even though we failed to get into his regiment, it still gave us a bed that we can use. Yeah. Okay. That's good news. Somewhat. We can wait it out. <laughs> oh, you've got to be fucking joking. What the fuck is the point of sleeping at his camp? If it's just going to transport us back here. Oh, I f fucking and it, it, it got rid of our torch. All that hard work. Oh, you did some rebranding the other day. Me too. I'm always kind of looking for stuff like that. It's uh, it's good to see you, Adriz. Raza, hey, how are you? Good to see you back. So we gotta we gotta do our exploit again. Oh my god. This game just does not want me to get ahead. Okay, we take out the torch. Balance that thing perfectly. Thank you. Reforge scythe. Pick that up. Mount our horse. I don't know if all these steps are required. I just know that this process works. So that's the process I'm going to do every time. It seems like you take out your torch, you pick that pole arm back up. Yeah, you mount your horse and then it goes. I don't know if it'll work on foot. Not something I need to try because it seems to work on the horse. And now they can't yell at us about the torch or the weapon. 
and now it's a single-handed you guys don't complain when I travel at night because I always have the torch and I can see and I don't complain because I can now master strike with a pole arm which is OP as hell I'd say that's a fair counterbalance to the fact that we're a glass cannon and we can we can pretty much die in a single strike TNK going to a wedding hey thanks for stopping in uh, I appreciate it and have fun at the wedding okay don't uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do Adram and Riz, Ad Riz, there you go. I can't, can't see any uh, faults in that. Bigger team, bigger budget, kept their. Rascal Nikov, Rascal Nikov, yes, no, I agree. They they have a bigger team, a bigger budget, a bigger, um, bigger everything all around. Uh, th the fact that they're not having to do this entire game on just a Kickstarter, I'm very, very curious. And they've had six years, which is about the same amount of time that they had on the first game on this one. But they started off with a bigger budget. Like they already had some budgeting from, you know, the sales of this previous one. Plus they probably got, you know, Deep Silver helped them actually launch it, but yeah, Sir, it should be bigger, better all around. Drop the, okay, come on. Let me get back into your band. Hopefully he lets me. There we go. Okay, so what do we have to do? Has anyone ever failed that, that initial sword fight? Do we just have to go back here? Uh, I'm not allowed to open my... My quest log, so I don't know where the map marker is, where I need to go to get back into this. Uh, I'm doing it just to see if it's doable, but the thing I'm doing, I'm only giving myself one chance to get it right. So for those that don't know, the Band of Bastards, um, oh, okay, I, I challenge you. Here we go again. again. If you like, I reckon I have. We'll see. Them. Let's do it. I'm just doing it for fun. I haven't done it in several playthroughs. I really like it. Um, and I'm trying to see Bring with this on. limited rule set if we can do it in one shot because for those that don't know if kuno dies at any point during this quest line it fails automatically um anyone else in the band can die but if kuno does uh it just takes you straight back to like radzig and basically you just tell him like oh yeah he didn't survive so without me being able to use a bow to kind of keep him protected i'm curious if we can actually get this done Especially against Zul, because Zul almost always like targets him. Ooh! Didn't take a single hit. Badly at all, I must say. You can ride with us. Hell yeah! What an improvement. Good. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> leave during daylight okay let's get a little bit more why does it make me drop my pole arm please don't attack okay i think last time it's because it was stolen that's why they attack they're technically like i don't know what they're coded in as like guards maybe or something but last time we picked up that reforged scythe outside there god that's gonna be annoying though the fact that the fact that we have to redo that and glitch every time. Uh, let's see if it works without the horse. Okay, so we pick that up. Bam. 
Let's see if doing it off the horse has the same effect. I don't think it will. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. So we don't even need to be on a horse. That's all it is. Just take out the torch, drop the pole arm, pick the pole arm back up, save, reload, and we have it in single hand. What was the fate of Matthew and Fritz in your OG playthrough? Um, I don't think in my original playthrough, I don't think I even knew about the Matthew and Fritz fate. The first time I did that quest, I want to say I let them live. Like I, I ratted out Andrew, Andrew hung and Matthew and Fritz were alive. Just because I like them, but don't worry, I've gotten the achievement. If, if you've gotten the achievement, you know which one it is. They live happily ever after and after, uh, yeah, drinking previous limits. So there's there's actually a follow up quest where you're the bailiff and you can uh, you can talk them out of drinking and they give you a pretty decent boost to your earnings in Privis Lovitz. Once they stop drinking and and destroying your town. Can you what? Uh, Died every time in your playthrough. <laughs> the stone. It seems like for me it's one of the Bearman brothers. It's always either. Peter Behrman or um, or the other one. That's always the ones that die in my playthroughs. The stone sometimes survives. Um, or Fletchling. Stephen Fletchling, he almost always dies. He has very low armor. What is it, Jakey? The stone what ring. Ah, no one told you about it. Kuno gave us this ring. So we steal the ring from each other. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. He probably wants you to steal it from someone. All right. Hey, one. Oh, and we can do the ring of Bacchus. That one's really fun. You can actually do it completely honorably. You can just uh, like challenge them and stuff. North of here. I wouldn't mind. I'm from there. From there. Sure. There we go. Dangler for you. Yeah, it always seems like it's a different one that that seems to die in everyone's different playthroughs. For me, it just it's always the Bearmans. Always one of the two. I think Henry would probably pick the one that I did. That's that's part of the reason why. Oh my God, it does not give us the pole. Oh, okay. We just dropped it right there. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it completely wiped our pole arm out. No, it's right there. There we go. And I might have to redo it real quick. Hopefully it lets me. Boy, that's going to be really annoying. That's going to be a little inconvenient. Oh, they all stood on their horses. All right, cool. We're, we're back in. We're back in. Really? Completed it without anyone dying? Um, the only time it really matters, like I said, during the main quest, you just can't let Kuno die. Um, during the final battle, I guess if you just hone in on Zul, he's going to probably cause the most damage, but that's when it matters. That's when, uh, all the rest of the band, if any of them die, it does matter. And I've done it before, um, without anyone dying, but more often than not, I'd say about 90% of my playthrough, someone dies in that final battle. Well, men, how are things? Yes, Fletch. I'm a little concerned about the prospect. Oh, how's that? I've been looking around. Adres, I agree. Some of the visuals and the sounds in this, yeah, when when he takes out the flute and starts playing Paris, France, the game music, that's. Uh, this is my favorite DLC that they released. Bar none. I love the characters, the visuals, the quests. I love this DLC. And loose wenches nearby. Not to mention tools in a tavern who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Dangler? It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey? Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. 
sorry, but they don't do homeworks in girl sizes. You've never done the Ring of Bacchus? You can actually do it just by right. talking to the people. Appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't you don't worry. even need to steal it. There will be plunder. Because I did it in my uh, quest only honorable night just by talking to them. And uh, you can fist fight one of them. The other one you solve a riddle. One of them you can play dice for it. You don't even need a very high uh, stealth to do it. You can Moan all you want. But nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader. Who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever... Forget that. Amen. Oh, Come on. What are you guys doing? Going on over there? Oh. He went ahead. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. I also think I like this one because if you think about it, this is probably the only other time the NPCs on horses are yeah. actually appear in the game. Outside of some of the nobles that kind of uh, walk around towns in them. And the very opening intro when the humans chase you on horses. This is the only other time that any NPCs can be seen in a group that's actually on horses. That's, that's sad when that's the basis of why I like this DLC, but... Such an oversight, hopefully fixed for the second game, but God, I want horses to play a much, much bigger role with the humans than they did in the first one, especially since that's kind of the skill that they were renowned for was their uh, mounted archery skills. Without you, Dangler, what do you expect to find? Futility in human suffering, like always. always full of good cheer, eh, do I know enough KCD YouTubers to organize contests? I know a couple. Um, what contests would, would we be able to organize? And I can probably reach out to some others. Um, I, I've you had contact field, with uh, with there Sweaty. Um, there's another still. there's another Look YouTuber um, the that pops into the if chat every now and then that uh, that I have pretty frequent contact with. Uh, Trial by Squire, uh, Devoid. I know he's done several uh, Kingdom Come videos. I'd like to reach out to Roxy over at uh, Sexy Biscuit. I feel like she's very approachable, but I could reach out to her, but. I know a few. I wouldn't necessarily say we're on, you know, the best terms, but I feel like I might be able to, you know, show them my content and, and they might, I might actually follow. What, what contest are you trying to organize? Yep. Sexy biscuit. Yeah. I hate Lo Lord Capon's uh, loved one as well. Mainly because it makes you complete it before beating the entire game. If it wasn't mandatory, I'd have less of an issue with it. But the fact that it it's a requirement to finish the game, I kind of take an issue with it. Any DLC that makes the game more inconvenient than the base game Kino will want to know about this. is a bit... God, why does picking anything up in this side quest fucking result in me dropping that? modding contest with a prize um maybe for the second one this one might be towards the end of its modding cycle uh yeah and i mean most of the youtubers that i know don't really mod the game they more just play the game modded if that makes sense i don't know any modders um i don't so i found this shield in a shed along with a letter that one that one's uh someone left us a message show me that hmm I know that, Chris. It's the house of Zul. Yeah, Sexy Biscuit was my first true. KCD YouTuber as well. I got the game, and I think I maybe discovered her a few months after I started playing, but she was the first one that I, that I saw a lot of content being pushed towards me. Or no, you know what? It was probably ESO. I think ESO had the first gameplay footage he got early yes that's what it was eso danny was the first one i saw playing 
uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. And then Roxy kind of came on my feed once I watched several of ESO Danny's videos. What do you know about these Zools? A family of impoverished... No I thought I could get... All right. There we go. Let's find the raiders, come back. What's that? Who are you? Dude, they freak the fuck out when I have my weapon drawn. They do not like me walking around with my weapon drawn at all. Uh, not the stone. Where's the one that's scouting? I think we need to talk to him and he's gonna... Hmm. Maybe this one? Yes, yeah, Jan Behrman. Would you stop doing... You think I'll have... That's not the point. That's what you say. I say it's all the fucking same to them. I'm telling you for the last time, stop it. You call yourself a Christian. Oh yeah, and Resonant. Yep. Resonant too. ESO, Sexy Biscuit, and Resonant. Aye. So, I'm actually... Camels. Aye. Oh, there's no way. Oh, well. I could give you plenty of reasons. Now you Yep. No, we're not winning that encounter at all. Corpses have hairy backs, including the women. <laughs> what? Half the corpses have hairy backs, including the women. All right, let's just go see if we can. Uh, I think I remember where they ran off to. If we can lay eyes on them, then when we can. Oh, yeah. there he is, Stephen Fletchling. That's the one that leads us to to where the bandits are. Did you find any tracks? Some, a horse or two. They rode off through the meadow towards dawn. They were what? Towards dawn, meaning towards the east. Oh, they can't move too fast then. No. I nice work. Thanks. Okay, so towards the dawn, towards the east, the sun is that way, which means yeah. I went that way. As soon as we lay eyes on them, we'll go back. There ain't no yeah. way. Well, actually, do we think yeah. I could take them out single-handedly? With a horse and the pole arm. Fuck it, let's try it. Let's try to be a badass today. Yeah. Uh, I think they're more back this way. Yes, there they are. Okay, let's save just in case. But I'm going to try to take them out solo. There we go. We're going to we're going to create a ring of death around them. Nope, no archery. That's not allowed. Archery is not allowed. If we can't use it, neither can you. Oh, oh god, that's a lot of them. Oh my god, they also have a bunch of archers. Oh no, we we might die here. There we go. He's dead. Oh, that went right by my fucking head. Oh, that went so close to my head. Oh my goodness. Yep, got him. Got him. Didn't kill him. Oh god. Oh, we might be dead. Run's dead. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to block. I'm trying to block. I really am. No, run's dead. All right. We'll take we'll take out who we can. <laughs> we need the help. I was trying to be a badass. It didn't work. I'm telling you. Okay. So there they are. Let's get Kuno's Kuno's gang involved. That's a lot more. Man, I thought I remembered like five or six of them there. I, I forgot that there was like 12. That's a bunch of them. I just saw the few sitting down. I figured I had a shot, but no way. I tracked down the you did a short way to how many of them mm. about 10 or so there was about 10 10 
Ah, I'll tell the lads we're gonna deal with them. Hey, to me. Who's there? Now. Okay. And because we're going in on foot, we're gonna pop that pole arm into one hand and we'll follow the men. Oh shit, it doesn't let me. Okay. There. There. Save. That should do it. See, there's a method to it. There's a method to the madness. That's not a bad idea, Adris. I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to gauge out what the interest is. We'll have to see. Stone would say. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one since. Let me see. At a loss for words, are you? <laughs> Stop it, please. Or I'll split my sides laughing. I'd feel sorry for the stone. Imagine not being able to insult your enemy's mother. Ah, big mouth Jakey makes up for it. I don't know how you managed without me for so long. Yeah, that's true, Raza, but we don't have a bow available to us. I've done that. I've done that during the Hans Cape on Love Quest when I was trying to clear out that whole uh, bandit camp. I jumped into a little um, that well they have out back, and I just sniped everyone. But yeah, unfortunately for this one, I can't can't do anything with a bow because you can exploit so much stuff with a bow. You really can. That's how this band works. Doing it without armor. No intention of getting myself killed by a bunch of bandits who pillaged And I mean, I think I can do that one by myself. It's just, I, I'd have to be, it, it would go very slow because I can't risk getting pulled off my horse. I'll cover you, Jakey. Got it? Thanks a lot, Basically, with this setup, if I get pulled off my horse, I'm dead. Because any hit makes me bleed. Here we go. We're gonna get a good. Oh God! What? The horse bucked me. That's bullshit. Oh God. There we go. Thank you, Stone. Where's Kuno? We cannot let Kuno die. Oh, you bastard. Yep. And Kuno's dead. <laughs> we got a whole quest. We got a whole quest into this Band of Bastards DLC before we completely failed it. And there's the stone dead. They're all dead. Oh, God. And now we're dead. <laughs> yep. Whole thing fails. What a loser. There we go. Okay, we got to get out of here. Okay. Sorry, guys. I let you all down. My bad. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That that went that went a lot poorer than I even thought we it could go. I don't even know if we can make it to a local town before we bleed out. Um yeah. only thing I can think of to maybe slow down the poison that we have right now is if we drop a marigold decoction into a cooking pot here if there's any cooking pots in there it's the only that's the only way i can think of that we make it out of this but i don't know fuck yeah there's no cooking pots anywhere at all yep Nope, nope. We gotta... Okay. Yeah. We're not very far off from Townburg. We can either go to jail or go to the bathhouse there. Either one is gonna stop us bleeding. But we gotta do it quick, because we're just gonna bleed out. Hmm... Okay, there's that. Yeah. In fact, I, I think I think we're better off just going to jail. 
I already see the red coming around the, the corners of the screen, which means we don't have much health. Uh, even the foods, these bandits had no honor. Yeah, I think we're better off sticking to the main quest line. I, I don't know how much side quests we're going to be able to get done under these limited rules. Especially one where we have to babysit. Like, we had to only keep him alive and we didn't really have the tank to stand up to any hits. So I was more worried about keeping myself alive. Oh boy, we really fucked that one up, didn't we? <laughs> Oh, how useless is Henry? Oh god, I hear the heartbeat. That's never a good sign when your character can yeah. hear his own heart beating. Oh, come on. Don't let me die when I'm so close. I can, I can literally see the bathhouse. I can see it. Yeah. Watch out, everyone. Urgent emergency here. What's going on out there? Oh, what? Where, where are you going? Wh why? 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 Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah. We can't talk to her. Oh God, I have to go to jail. I have to. I have to hit a guard and go to jail. That is the only way we stop bleeding. Okay, you come here. Please don't Wait die. Please don't die. Oh my, oh, we hit him too hard. Okay, we got to punch someone then. Yeah. I can't hit him with a pole arm. Oh boy, this is tense. Oh, this is tense. Okay, drop the pole arm. We're going to punch Razum and then we're going to, we're going to surrender. Hey, put that away before I lose my drop the, gun. drop the pole arm. We got to punch him. Someone there. Surrender. <laughs> okay, and then go to jail. So it's you. Well, you won't forget. Uh, I don't have enough. Too much. You still have to pay the penalty. Agree with Jail imprisonment. Anything. That should stop our bleeding. Get moving. I hope you rot there. And it should only be a day in jail. Because we only punched him. I don't think we got caught for, for stealing. Okay. I think we're good. I agree. Collaboration videos would be fun. They really would be. Um, we just have to, you know, come up with some unique ideas as far as what we collab on, how we could do it. You know, maybe a, a dual stream, you know, some sort of a contest. You know, um, Spiffing Brit just had a, a brilliant collaboration video with uh, a few other um, Skyrim YouTubers with uh, with Juve, Doug Doug, someone else, I forgot the third one, and Spiffing Brit where they try to, you know, it's like a survival challenge for an hour. It's over on Spiffing Brit's channel fantastic idea i would love to do something like that for uh for kcd but i don't know there's not really a mod that makes it multiplayer so that kind of dude did this game crash oh my god of course this game fucking hates me i literally beat the odds survived made it to the town couldn't talk to the bathhouse so i i thought quickly on my toes went to jail and now the fucking thing crashed you know maybe collaboration videos aren't a great idea <laughs> i think i see why people don't collaborate on this game <laughs> it's all coming together i'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to reload, but I'll I'll stay I'll stay to um you know even though it's available we'll we'll pretend like this already all happened and and we won't continue with the band of bastards.
but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reload it. It's just gonna be this. Ah. No, I've got fast loading address. Uh, we literally sit here for about 10 minutes because it won't fully crash. It'll just keep doing that loading screen because I've tried it before. Trust me, I I've made a lot of content as far as, um, you know, when I'm filming and stuff. And we will sit there for 10 minutes and it won't go anywhere. It won't fully crash. But it, it won't load. If it doesn't load almost right away, that's that's it. W, hey, thanks for stopping in. Here to say good luck. Thank you so much. And if you uh if you're going to bed today, then I will tell you good night. Well, I never create a bounty <laughs> for devs willing to fix the game. Yeah. Do yeah. like a charity stream or something for, for anyone. God. It's so tempting to just retry it, but no, you know what? They can, they can go off. You know what? We'll just be, we'll be a bystander. If they happen to live, then they live. I'm not going to contribute anything. And as the grave, as the stone would say, that's a good one. I have yeah, we're, that we're one. not going to do anything to help or hurt them. At this point, their fate is their own. To, to try and keep some of the integrity of the run. I didn't mean to. I mean, I technically I didn't die. That's not a death. That's a glitch. So if Kuno survives on this one, he deserves to live. But if he doesn't, then we just go back to Radzig, tell him what failures we are, and continue with the main quest. Oh, you watched a rub fight earlier? Awesome. What'd you think? Pretty overpowered with a with a single-handed uh, pole arm, isn't it? Fuck you! I don't need minding. We all cover each other's backs. That's how this band works. Get used to it. I've no intention of getting myself killed by a bunch of bandits who pillaged a farm for cabbage. Well, I don't know. You might get mistaken for a cabbage yourself. Ah, he's green enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cover you, Jake. God, that's such Got a it? shame. Thanks a lot. That we failed it. Okay, we'll be like a we'll be like a mounted general. We'll be in the back. We'll we'll encourage our troops. We'll give them hope, but we cannot intervene. Oh god. Why does that happen? This horse has super high courage. How is it still bucking us? Is it just scripted for this one? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. And we're still gonna die. Okay. Ah, uh, you fucker. Oh god, the band is all running away. And we're still bleeding. Holy shit, is the band about to win without my intervention somehow? How does that happen? How is it that when we help, they don't stand a chance, and yet every single one of them survives when we just hang out in the back? How does that happen? I mean, we're still gonna fucking die here unless they have a cooking pot. Oh, God. Do, do they... Huh? He doesn't take us back to camp, does he? Right. We'll have a look around here for... Uh... Okay. We've got to make it... Make our way back to Talmberg, I guess. Try and get healed up again. Yeah. See a single hit and we're we're bleeding and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh I Fuck! Dude, like What is going on today? I just I'm not on it. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I don't know what is happening today. This is, uh, this is shocking. Okay. Who's there? Fuck all of them. That's it. I'm done with this quest. Full stop. You know what? We're going to kill Kuno ourselves. Fuck this dude. Is that all 
Yep. Yep. Fuck all of you. I, I'm, I'm done with your bullshit. Oh, they're all coming for me now? Guess what? All we gotta do is take out Kuno. All we gotta do is take out Kuno. Fuck this band. Oh god, fuck these cows. This is almost more fun. As our payback. There we go. Fuck you, Kuno. And now we're out of here. Look at that. No bleeding, no nothing. I feel like that just solves all of our problems. There we go. Right off into the sunset. I'm done with that quest. <laughs> I'm done with the pain <laughs> that comes, <coughs> excuse me, with that quest. Let's head on over to Merhoyed. Let's 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 get this main story going. So you hope you beat those bandits? Yeah, no, we didn't. <laughs> I've decided all of a sudden that we do not need to beat those bandits. We just need to beat Kuno. Because I gave myself one attempt. I, I said right before we started, I said we get one attempt at it and Kuno died in our very first attempt and, and, then, the, uh, and then we died. So sticking to the integrity of one, one shot, that was all we got. And let's save, so if we die somewhere stupid, we don't have to redo all that. Let's get on over to Merhoyed. Come on. Yeah, I don't know how he died, but yeah, Kuno's unfortunately passed away. Don't know what happened. I wonder if it gives us a negative dialogue since the game knows that we're the ones that killed him. I doubt it. I doubt the devs thought that far ahead, especially for a DLC, but how funny would that be? He goes, well, actually, I talked to the other men. They said you killed him. W, have a good night. This should be Ledechko. Okay, we're not far from Merho yet then. Should come up on the mill here, not too far. And then I think Merhoyed's on the left. Yes, past the mill on the left. Or to the left, past the mill. And then it should be a straight shot. Oh shit, is that where we just were? Oh my god, we were right next to Merhoyed. So that's a burned out farm. Yep, we were just here. Fuck me. Yeah. But we did leave in quite a hurry, so I didn't really have time to orient myself. I just needed to get out of there. Yeah. Again, without checking the map, it, it becomes a little bit harder to actually orient yourself from anywhere in the map, especially with that one, because you're kind of taken there yeah. in a cutscene, so it's not like I actually rode there, so I got to kind of take a second and think about where I am. 
Okay, so there's Townberg. Merhoye yeah. this way. This can be dual purpose. We can tell Radzig about his the unfortunate, mysterious passing of Kuno. And we can get headed to Sasau to heal this village. That'll kind of nicely do it for our main quest uh, yeah. progression for the day. Yeah. So Radzig should be up here in this uh, little outpost. There's the soldier's camp. Yeah. He's going to be at the outlook of Townberg. Or at least he usually is. What are you doing here? Oh, what the hell? Why do you ask? Can I not take a walk in the woods without being accosted? I ask because I'm the gamekeeper here, and it's my job to protect these woods from poachers. Well, I'm certainly not poaching. In that case, you won't mind if I have a look what you've got on you. Badsley, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Certainly. Yep. Mm. That was weird. Yeah. He asked us if we were poaching while he has a carcass of a deer yeah. up after he's been poaching. Kind of strange, don't you think? There's Radzig. Greetings. All right, let's see what he says. So I'm afraid the news I bring is not good. Kuno is dead. Hagen's man killed him. Oh Christ! Hagen's men, huh? What about the rest? I don't know what happened, but without Kuno, they'll all be scattered by tomorrow. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> At least there's a silver lining. How's that, sir? Hagen's brother, Nicholas Zul, was taken captive by the Lord of Kolditz. His messenger came to me today. He wanted to ask me, as the royal hetman, what he should do with him. And what will you do? I'll have to advise him to let Nicholas go. Oh, that go. is his job. You're right. This won't be good news for the Lord of Duba whose estates he'll surely pounce on. I'll draft a letter to Hagen, explaining the situation. I'm sure he'll drop his feud in exchange for his brother's freedom. But there are criminals. Hagen and all the Zuls. You'll make enemies. The Zuls were fighting in Moravia on the side of Prokop of Luxembourg, which makes them possible allies against Sigismund. Considering everything that's going on, no it's actually pretty interesting. I've never actually season. had this dialogue option. Will it be enough to persuade Hagen to leave? Will it be enough? I have no doubt of it. The Zuls are a close family. So it all turned out well in the end? Yes and no. Sir Andrew of Duba has been my ally for years. Once he finds out what happened, that'll be the end of our alliance. In the end, this whole affair has cost me more than I ever expected. All right. Someone else will do that, Henry. Oh. Yeah, we've we've um, failed enough at this job. All right, sir. God be with you. Yeah, safe to say that our father is not very happy with us. We had one job. And we even lied. We said Hoggins men killed him. Yeah. All right, let's get this Merhoyed stuff rolling. We've we've had enough failures for the day. Now I just need something to go right. Something to go my way. Something we can feel good yeah. about. We need Melikar. There he is. Do you have any? Um, I don't. 
I've been thinking about starting some for the Not channel, but I haven't really gotten around to it. Maybe when I can get a little bit more consistent with uh, with doing it, just most of my time is either work, editing, or live streaming. I haven't really had a chance to. I was thinking about starting a Discord, but didn't really do that. One day. One day I'll definitely have some stuff dedicated to the channel. And Saradzig won't help us with that. But I've never been huge on social media, so my fear is I would go through everything to make it, and then I would just underutilize it. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here. Yes, I know. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery in Fer If she's actually... Very well. Thank you. If I have to go to the monastery... It's hard to see. My wife is fever. So we've got fever. Fever. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot, and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'm I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses, but don't. St <laughs> Take care now. Okay, let's talk to everyone that's actually afflicted. See, I'm part of a few. I just don't have one dedicated to only my channel. I, I know I will eventually. It's not that it's hard. It's just more of like the time. Hey, Again, I, I don't want to make one and kind of under under deliver, if that makes sense. Like if I have the time, absolutely. And I try to engage with everyone. I, I hope everyone that at least, my you know, follows Kim. the channel and follows me the uh, can know like so you'll always get a response from me. I try to I try to follow along plan. as best I can with me. the with the time that I have. I need to know how the um, yes, I'll tell you So, let's see. Of course I'll help. Thank you. I understand. Thank you. I'm pretty sure we have a shovel raza. I haven't gotten rid of it. I think I've had that shovel since the start of the game. Yep, we still got it. Just snag him up in front of her. There we go. Buried. Oh, she's still she's still walking over here. I was like, oh god, we broke hey, the game again. Put that weapon away right now, or I'll call the guards. I, I've had this weapon since you've known me. Will you please tell me about him? Certainly, my husband had the fever all over. Anything okay, else? so fever, chills. He had great pains in his belly. Belly pains. Like Thank you. Fever, chill, belly pains. I'm trying to remember all the options to tell brother Nicodemus so he makes the right thing because we can't we can't craft the uh, the cure ourselves without a mask and gloves I knew it was not plague <laughs> Let's see. I think this is the crazy dude. Yeah, the brother dude. Brother. Brother. Dear brother. brother. Is that you? We'll call him Hulk Hogan. Yeah, what's up, brother? Yes, it's me. Your um brother. brother. I found this nearly here. Um Tell me, brother. Brother. How are you feeling? Wait. Brother, I was gone for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take care now. Thirsty. Okay, so thirst fever belly aches i know what the affliction is 
I just need to remember what all the signs because I think both of them play a factor. Or no. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because as long as we tell him what it is and we know how to read, I think we should be okay no matter what. As long as we then ask Nicodemus to actually craft the cure since we can't craft ourselves. I, I just got to remember to pop a save as long as we can tell him that it's, uh, that it's food poisoning or poisoning in the well or the water. How? We should get the right it's cure. Good to see you too, Mr. Radzi. Something like that. Well, it's five disease. Folk is saying it's done. Are you fine? But tell what? Can you? I. Uh, you talk to me? No. I hear. Why is that? I can tell. I, I know. What? I, I, yeah, we I just talked to that crazy one. I am good. About. What? I don't leave. Has anyone? I. I thought. When it. Who? I, can I, I? Can you? To, work. What's the? Oh, no. Since what? Where? We, what's the? Oh, no. Thank. I, there we go. That's all of Matthias. I think we need the prompt that tells us to find out everything about everything about the sickness that we can before we have the dialogue option with Brother Nicodemus. Jeez. So this is the one that asks us I'm to basically Congress. excommunicate his son. I need My taken Johanka, I... I liked her until they did the DLC. I thought she was kind of turned into a bit of a a hated character, a hateful character in the DLC. They they didn't do her any favors with that. Prior to that, I didn't have a problem with her. Seemed like she was just kind of like a a love struck girl that really liked Matthias. And then as soon as I did her DLC and she starts having visions and sending you off and just being a a bitch. Didn't really like her very much after that. And I feel like that's a lot of people's opinion because I've definitely read some hatred on, on Johanka and unfortunately I kind of agree. I didn't like her after that DLC. Um, that's about... That's it. That should be all I need. Let's head into Sasau. Charcoal? What do we need the charcoal for? For the cure. Well, see, so I don't plan on making the cure. I think I can make Nicodemus craft it, so we shouldn't need all that. We shouldn't need the ingredients. How to start the Yohanka side quest? Um, so the option should be available to you. Once you pass a certain point in the game, I want to say after Merhoyed, the option should be available to you if you go to visit her because Matthias gets moved over to the Sasao monastery and then she is going to be seen praying in a side table. Now, I don't remember if you need to do the Teresa side quest first, because it's all part of that Woman's Lot DLC. I don't think you do, but we'll see. We're almost there. As soon as Matthias shows up in Sasao, that quest should be available to you, but it's... <sighs> it's not my favorite, so do it at your own risk, at your own will. But it should be able to start fairly easily. Where... here we 
go. Oh, and we gotta eat. Yeah. Oh, we should be able to solve that with a couple of cooking pots, though. There's a bunch of cooking pots around here. I shouldn't need to. Shouldn't need to run to the bathhouse just yet. Address, have you not? Oh, you haven't done the woman's lot DLC with uh, with Yohanka. It's just. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. She starts basically having She starts having visions that, you know, the the Lord is talking to her, so she gets like all altruistic and and tries to help everyone in the town, but then refuses to stop talking about it, so she's deemed a uh basically kind of like I, I I I don't know, maybe like Joan of Arc. It's kind of like that kind of uh, quest. Like, while she's here and helping out these refugees, I like her. As soon as that DLC starts and Matthias lays right there, it's hard to describe, but... Yeah, it is very divisive, and I'm on the I'm on the side of I didn't enjoy it, the second half of it. Son of a bitch. What are we missing for the cure? Did we not talk to everyone? Yeah, a heretic. That's it, Rompel. She's deemed a heretic. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We're missing something and I don't have... <laughs> I don't have the prompt to tell me what's missing. Uh, what's, what's that that's bullcrap, Adriz? We're about to get ambushed. The old card of ambush. Let's see who's there. Hmm. We can actually, depending on what pole arms they have, we can probably upgrade the pole arm that we currently have. That might be worth it. Oh, he gave up. Boy, that was easy. Yeah. Give us the pole arm that you guys had. Let's see what they got. Groshen. Ornamental. Not bad. Now, where's both their pole arms? What do they have for pole arms on them? They roll down the hill? Or do they just flat out disappear? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. They fall through the... <laughs> they must have fallen through the environment. All right. Lock big. We'll take all that. God, they had some bullshit on them. You know, given how low a level that loot is, I'd be willing to bet they had, like, bullshit hunting spears. I'm willing to bet they were probably shit. Yeah, and I can't find them. Okay. Well, I guess yeah. we're stuck with our... Our scythe for now. Yeah, her visions are bullcrap.
what house did I miss that we don't have all the details? Okay, so we definitely did that one. That one's the brother house. Was it straw? Do we need to talk to straw? We did that one. That one's the burial. Melikor, we already talked to him when we came into town. I think we need to talk to straw. Jesus. What's up? Play him. I love. Oh god, how many times am I gonna pick that same one? Okay, where's straw? I think that's the only one that we missed. Oh wait, what is this door? This is Melikar's though. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's straw. You've taken my son. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? I don't have time to explain everything. Oh God. To you. I need to Are we gonna have to fight him? Have the time. You fucker. Okay. If we kill you by accident, that's on you. Yep. Hey. That was in self defense. Let's let's go ahead and close that. You had that coming. I didn't mean to do it. He forced my hand. Let's see what he's got on him. Oh, we got some door keys, some trunk keys. Oh my god, did I just find a way to break this game? Hang on, hang on. Can we go... Straight to the door and just go in and talk to him? Want to go in? Talk to Melikar. No. Put that weapon away before someone gets. Okay, no. So that door key was not to there. Uh, no, not struggling with the joystick dialogue. I picked the right options. I just failed. Oh, cool. Thank you, Straw. What a kind soul. He's more helpful to us in death. Fever. Just like Melchard's wife. Oh my god, that was all we needed. Alright. <laughs> he's sick too, yeah. But he's not- Straw isn't sick anymore. We, uh, we found a way to cure him. He's got a different affliction now. It's called dead. Unfortunately, there's no cure for that. Now we can go into Sasau. Just, just had to come back to kill Straw real quick. Hey, y'all saw that. I tried to talk my way out of it. That was not on me. I did not, you know, in, in any sort of way that I try to escalate the situation. I just, I tried to calmly talk my way out of it. He yeah. decided to attack me. I happen to have a pole arm. Here's a, here's a life lesson for you. Don't attack someone with a fucking torch and a pole arm in their right hand. I feel like everyone can learn a little from that. Yeah. Exactly. Henry's a hero. We helped him find his son. Tyler! Finished the game last night, and are they going to make a part two? Uh, if you come back here around this time tomorrow, uh, the developers, Warhorse Studios, are literally making their announcement on what their next game is going to be. It's been six years. Most of us have been waiting all that time, but... For yourself, Tyler, it seems like you joined at the perfect time because we find out tomorrow what the plans of this developer are. So yeah, if you're willing to stop by, um, it's 2 p.m. EST. So about 24 hours from now, 25 hours from now.
Oh god damn, I am so stupid. We have to talk to her and she tells us oh my god. I'm glad to see me too. Not I know all this. I don't know if you've heard Oh god. Wounded in I before what? Some kind I thought maybe Mercy. He may know how to very well. Come back when you know Thank you. I always get tricked by that. I have to talk to her first, then to Brother Nicodemus. Address, I don't think there is. I know that there is a way to mod it. I don't know if there's a vanilla way to ever get um, Divish's armor. And that's because he's deemed an essential character, which means um, there's no way to attack him to get it. And as in my... Uh, Some kind of disease... To my knowledge, it doesn't appear anywhere in the game. The said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Intriguing? It's terrifying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound uncaring. All right. The important thing is whether you can help us. I can't say it. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm? Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens... And now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. Do you know the sin? Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some... Oh, you can't update there. it? Can you read? That's kind of weird. Yes, I can. Excellent. So... Evident in the what? The digest. Um. <sighs> uh huh. Sure. We. But I don't know. Fortune. Study of the. I'll tr May the Lord watch over. What are you playing at with that weapon? Nothing. All done. Oh. God be with you. I kind of want to clip out that sound though. Hang on. So, where shall we start? Evidently, there's something in the what? The digest. Um. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the asshole. Uh huh. We. I feel like that's just a uh, a fact of life, huh? There's truth in the old saying. Good oh come on. Guyan, the only stats we can improve is stealth and agility. But as far as weapon stats, there's not really any that we improve. I think I have it. But I think with yes. every kill, we, we do, do improve our strength and agility. Gas poisoning. Quiet. Was that really a thing in, in medieval times? Gas poisoning? It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Okay, and here I think we can get him. I don't think I can help out with that. There it is. I didn't expect you could. You surprised me quite enough with your reading. But enough chatter. Time is of the essence. That works for me. Essentially, he Can said, you? you looked even Let's stupider than... You were smarter than I thought you were, but help. you're still just as dumb as I thought. Hey, Essentially, that that's what he told us. The guards see you. Uh, okay. Now I think it's just waiting. I think we just have to wait. We can probably help out Johanka. Let, let's... Let's weapon. brainstorm here. Do we need anything in our inventories to help these people out? A lullaby, which we should be able to buy from him. Take care now. Training. We can unlock that. Hmm. Can you level up your stats with Halberg training at Bernard? I think we can. The problem is going to be in order to do it substantially. There's a better way to level up with Captain Bernard than Halberg. If you just want to raise your strength and agility, there's a better way to do it. Um, You need bandages. We can find bandages around here, and we don't actually need to pull them out of our inventory to do it. So that one I'm not worried about. Um, we can find bandages all over. 
this one we are gonna have to travel all the way back to ratai to the executioner so he can teach us how to straighten that leg shit no we're not gonna be able to because he's gonna teach us how to craft that potion but I don't know if I'm going to be able to craft the potion without opening my inventory. No, 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 we can. Uh, bitter Artemisian. Isn't that what he makes him drink? It's just Artemisian, so it's a basic one. We can probably buy it. Bitter herb. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this one's doable. This one is doable. Fuck it. Let's try it. If we come, if we come to a, because uh, we gotta wait right now anyway. I don't, I don't think we can go straight to Merhoyed without waiting a couple days. So we might as well. Where the hell did Johanka go? Please help me. Oh, she must have gone off to to Merhoyed too. Nope, there she is. Okay. Greetings, Henry. You wouldn't have don't you so they stop they always one of and you know I don't what kind of and what I don't thank you God bless. so Elias and her brother what do you what I can how long since and what may some do you a thank you I heard you he then so it was yes they just I really I'm surprised. Really? Let's see if this works. Well, there we go. Okay, so we got their debt forgiven. Yo, Honka. Okay. So we're not able to do that. Oh, you know what? Let's go check back up with Matthew and Fritz. That reminds me. You're right. So I, I did see that in the chat earlier, but I was, uh, I was trying to brainstorm my way through some ideas let's go back to matthew and fritz and progress that quest line a little bit that friend indeed or a friend in need is a friend indeed we'll we'll advance that one a little yeah. bit get them over to andrews but we do owe them a visit And while we're in Ledechko, we can stop off at the uh, the bathhouse there. Now, do we go? I think we stop off and kill the um, the signal ring bandit. They got some kind of high level loot that we can sell. Plus, it's just fun. we go oh god am i stuck on a cross i am what an idiot there we go let's get them out into the open it's gonna give us the best odds here they all come does that one have archery he does okay we gotta we gotta get him out there first Can't go at him in a straight line. And I wish he would shoot. There he goes. Oh, missed. God, I missed him again. There we go. Nope. Get out of there. See, the trouble is the stab with the reforged sight. That one's a lot more accurate, but it does a lot less damage than with something like a spear, and that's the one I like using while doing this mounted warfare is the stab. It gets off a little bit quicker and it's a bit more accurate, but we're not really doing as much damage as we could if we had a spear. See, the reforged scythe is good for the swings like that, which I can't do quite as easily at high speeds. 
let's try to line yeah. them up a little bit. So here's this one. Bam. And bam. Yeah. And now this one on the way back. Bam. And bam. Christ. Yeah. Oh, missed him. I'm gonna enjoy this. No! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, holy shit, he didn't pull us off. I don't know how. He definitely should have. But I'm also not gonna complain. We got lucky as fuck there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh. There we go. Another run through. Yeah. That should get the signet ring bandit down. Oh no. Yeah. Boy, he's got Oh, that's right. He's got pretty good armor. Outside of his head not being covered, he's yeah. he's actually in some some pretty good shit. There we go. Yeah. He's still not down. Holy shit. Bro's a tank. Yeah. Get him while his back is turned. That did it. Yeah. <laughs> that did it. And took him out. Nice. Okay. They they usually have some pretty good shit on them. Not him, but we will take that that ring. Okay. This dude. This is the one that's loaded. He's got a lot of expensive stuff on him. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Do you have anything else in their chest? I can't remember if there's anything else here that's actually worth a damn. Aqua Vitalis Bard. Oh, what a good call. What a good call. And some food. How are we doing on health? Health is fine. Do they have any apples? Do any of them have anything in their food? They don't. I want to try and buff how much we can get out of that cooking pot. And some apples to drop in there to, uh, to buff the nourishment would be nice, but it doesn't look like there is any. No. Ah, well. We'll just eat out of there then. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Got some good loot to sell. What is this guy all about? Sir, please, for the love of God, help your fellow man in need. Oh, this better not be an ambush. Please, sir. Okay. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can so I can sway my feet. I don't think <laughs> penitents are supposed to go barefoot. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll give him some money. I don't have any. But here. Thank you, sir. One. We got reputation for giving him one groschen. I'll take it. We've got 9,000 gold on us. We give him one and he's like, you're the greatest person that's ever lived. Uh, 
Um, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say Ledechko is further that way. We kind of took a little bit of a detour because I wanted to get that signet ring bandit. But this is not the exact way to Ledechko. We have to kind of go through the forest. Yeah, see, that's the mill. Okay, we got to go this way. Please don't take fall damage. Thank you. Okay, no, that's the burnt out farm. Went too far up. The Dutch goes further down. Yeah, way too far up. Oh, yeah, we're... Yeah. We're all the way up here. I didn't realize it took us that far north. I thought we'd still be fairly close, but it took us all the way to the other, uh, the crossing. We got to follow the water down and let's not die getting down to the water. Yeah. That would be cool. There we go. Yeah. And now that path, there it is. There's the Dechka. Yeah. And Nicodemus has made it to Merho yet. Perfect. So we can stop off here, check up with Matthew and Fritz. Tell Fritz the good news. We can even try and get St. George's sword. On the way out to Merho yet. It's all coming together now. see what we can sell here put that weapon god bless oh this poor bastard has 300 gold that's it it's the best he can do can definitely get rid of the shields those are going to be the heaviest things along with um Get rid of that. And then, yeah. See, this stuff we can't just sell anywhere. So I'd rather get rid of that stuff now. We should be able to haggle up for the rest. Let's talk about the price. All right. Are we agree? Let's forget it then. You bastard. I keep on forgetting that we don't have any like perks to help us out with with haggling So I try to be extremely aggressive when I haggle, but it blows up in my face most of the time since he just tells us no Essentially we uh, I can't be as careless Can we do something about the price? Hey TNK, Why welcome not? back How was the wedding? Finally Blacksmiths are pretty good buyers. I don't know if there's any blacksmiths here in Ledechko, unfortunately. We got the butcher. Oh, no. The, what, what am I talking about? He's up there. Yes. Okay. Good call. Good call, Raza. We'll go visit the, um, the blacksmith here in a second. Let's check in with these fools. Are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? What well, fine friend you are. Oh, come on. You well, perhaps... Always forcing you to... W if only. That wouldn't be so awful. I can imagine. You know what it's like. And the miller works to cut for you. Not really. I see. 
What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. And you definitely don't. I've already told you once. He's an asshole. Have you tried talking? What do you think? Mm. Well, get and what does he do? <laughs> Good why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. So he's clumsy and arrogant. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. And what do you want to do about it? Actually, I me. Do you think they'll listen to me? <laughs> they did what are you already, doing, Fritz? They? He just... They hired us because of you. And back then... You can forget about the Miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The Miller takes his opinion seriously. Fritz just so, budged his way in and now he's just going to stare up Again. at us. Fine. What the hell do you I'm want, glad. Fritz? Good luck, then. We'll tell Fritz about the debt. About your bro How the fuck do you know about him? Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to I'd say Fritz is probably up there as far as a side character that I also like his his dialogue. Oh, thanks. How the fuck do you know about him? You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything. And drown Drowning? It was the uh first or the second day here. Uh, we had a disagreement and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we fight him and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. We're gonna have to call him John Marston. Drowning in waist deep water. I spoke with him. Then you ought to Who's Lawrence? Hi. What about the others at the The Miller's an old fool. He believes it. Do you think he's jealous? You want me? And what do you want to do? No fuck. So how do you plan on dealing? Perhaps. And you think that Maybe. That So what? We could lure him off some point. Mm. Put that weapon away. You know, I've never really dealt with this quest any other way, so usually I'll just I'll steal that cloth out of Thomas's pocket. And I'll just prove and Thomas runs off. How do we want to deal with this? Do we want to convince him? Do we want to go fight him? I'm kind of looking for a different way to complete this. This quest. I don't think I've ever actually fought him. So let's save. I want to fist fight him. Because we are allowed to do that. But I've never taken that option. I don't know what that opens up. It probably is pretty minimal. It probably just progresses the quest as, as normal. But I'm curious. Where is Thomas anyway? It's raining, so that's going to mess with their pathing. They're going to be somewhere indoors, I think. Actually, oh no, he's probably actually out already playing dice. Put that weapon away you. I'd be willing to bet you he's already at the tavern playing dice. Where is he? Old Thomas. There he is. Okay, that's him. I was looking right at him. He doesn't look very old. God save you. He looks pretty much the same age as everyone else. Okay. Do we want to fight him? Or a dice game? I've never tried either of these. So what do you guys think? So what do you think about Throw down in the board? chat. Yeah, How do we want to deal with it? Fight them, or dice? Miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say so there come isn't it the miller he can't man oh, good that you which one dice dice all right dice always okay hs Lawrence Thanks from it is. sends word that he has some time at night and some groshen. Lawrence from Budin. Let's see. The Red. Farkle forever? I love it. You had dealings with the Miller Pesha. <laughs> Never need a reason. You're right. 
Ah, you have it all mixed up. Peshek is from the Ratai mill. You're right. I agree with you guys. You don't need a reason for dice. And dice should be Lawrence. second nature. Yes, Lawrence. Well, I have a lot of work now, so... Shit. God be with you. Did we save right before that? Please tell me I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, I picked the wrong option. Again, that one was me not being able to click down. That one I messed up. I meant to go down for the Ren. Greeting. Take care. Okay. Let's try that again. Pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. Now where the hell did he go? Maybe he's inside. He's not inside. Where the fuck is he? Yeah, homeless Henry does seem like the brawling type. Okay. Well, I know he comes here at night. I know he does. Just gotta wait for him and find him. Where is he? Come on, Thomas. Do we even have any lucky dice? I don't think we do. We might have to, uh... Okay. So they're still there. Thomas is not there. Let's try again. Maybe he only gets there at a certain time. What the fuck, Thomas? You worked right the first time. Where'd he go now? Okay, and just to make sure, we did finish out all the dialogue with him, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Now we just gotta find him. Maybe he's in the baths. He does sometimes hang out in here. I have found him in like those tents sometimes. Yeah. No. Who's there? What are you staring at? Are you nope, that's villager. Hey, no. Hmm. Okay, so also villager, player, innkeeper, fearless Felix. Where the fuck did Thomas go? Seriously? Oh my god. That is so, so ridiculous. You can't, you just, you can't keep track of where, where the hell anyone is, especially when it rains. It, the rain just messes with their pathing so bad because then they just run for the nearest cover. So they're never where you expect them to be. Which, uh, it makes sense in the realism perspective, but when you can't check your map marker and you expect them to be somewhere, it's a, it's a bit frustrating.
So I don't I don't mean to complain about that, but fuck me. It's uh let's try let's try going to the baths. That'll skip an hour while we while we refill our energy. It'll give us a save and hopefully he renders in. What are you staring at? If we even can. God, is this one This is so dumb. We're gonna have to literally wait until tomorrow. Who is it? Hey, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Get a drink. Oh, God. What's that? Everyone's so offended when we come through with a pole arm. You know what? Okay. Let's get a room. We'll save for an hour. Why does she look like that? Dear God. Same as Henry. Oh my God, he looks fucking hideous. I feel quite hungry. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure you do, Henry. That's that's not my concern right now. My concern is where the fuck Thomas went. No. Let's wait an hour or sleep an hour. Try to go back and find him. God, that is... That is such ass. And we wake up somewhere else. Oh my... Could this be going any worse? Sure, it could be. But... We've now got nightmares. We're starving. I can't see. Can't find Thomas. What's going on? We. Jesus. Yep, we're taking an L on tonight. As far as finding Thomas, we'll, uh. Let's sleep. We're not gonna be able to sleep because we're too hungry. Yeah, that went about as bad as it could go. Okay. We're just gonna wait. We're going to wait in here. And first thing in the morning, we go to the baths. And we'll just wait until nighttime, go to the baths again, and try to get Thomas the next night. That is such ass. One. Where is that bastard? Oh, uh, we're... Now I'm tempted to fist fight him, because he just pissed me off at this point, but we'll still farkle him. Yeah. But... God, that is... So disappointing. I, I need fine I'm sure good luck I could do with a bite to eat yeah yeah you're getting a bite to eat <laughs> Thomas got beat up by Fritz and thrown in a river I was about to beat him up and throw him in a river fuck he was right there I just reloaded like five minutes prior to that he should have been in that same area but I think that the rain just probably threw him off his pathing so bad he never ended up making it to the tavern. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's the miller. Yeah. Where is Thomas? I need to see this man so I know he still exists because that was. That was ass. Okay. Why have you got that weapon in your hand? Can we talk to him right now? Okay, we can. Lawrence from Boudin sends word that he has some time at night and some groschen. Lawrence from Boudin. The Rev. You had dealings with the Miller Peshek. 
Ah, you have it all mixed up. Peshek is from the Ratai Mill. Oh, you're right. I do have it mixed up. And Lawrence, you say? Ah, the Wren, of course. Ah, I must have misheard you. Good luck, then. For heaven's sake, Henry. All right. Hey, Henry. Good luck, then. Is that it? Is that... Okay, he'll go... And we'll ambush him. No, wait. No, no, no. We just need to... Okay. So I haven't done that quest that way. Can we actually do it? Or does that just set him up to get beat up? If we tell him about the dice game, does that just set him up to get jumped? Or can we actually play dice with him? Anyone that's ever tried it that way, um, I can look it up too. Because I would like to play dice against him. Watch it. You can't draw your but if that's just a setup for him to get beat up, we'll just, uh... Let's see. Oh, you beat him up? That's it? Okay. I thought we actually got to play dice against him. Uh, so in that case... Let's beat him up. You guys are promised a dice game. We will do a dice game. We will do at least one dice game with the Ledechko player, and then we'll go beat the shit out of him. I thought you actually got to play dice against him and, like, you know, take all his money and stuff. Damn it. I was really... Really hoping to beat him with our wit. All right, Ledechko player. We'll go all in. 100. I can't wait to see how you throw. Sparkle time. Ah, oh, come on. Let's we'll see if we throw. can beat this guy. He's a pretty high level it's player. No With no loaded dice and no buffs to Farkle. I feel like this it's is going to go terrible. I feel like we're getting our asses kicked. Finish. Just based off that first interaction, I feel like we're going to get demolished here. Uh, three, four, five. No. We'll see. I don't have good feelings about this. If I was in your shoes, so I'd pass all the goings good. If I was I'm in your shoes, try to I'd play somewhat conservative. Oh, good lord. Come on, a couple good throws is all we need. Two, three, fuck. If only we had a four. Just needed a four and that would have been a great hand. Ah, oh, come on. It's time I had a throw. Ooh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of a comeback. And he responds right back. Man. Man, man, man. That's tough. Two. Okay. As long as we can keep it fairly close. We can't let him get away from us. If, if he starts just pulling away by a couple thousand, we could be done. That's all. Hmm. He's still got a decent lead on us. Hmm. We need him to bust. We really, really need him to bust. 
That's it. Which the computer does have a pretty high chance of doing. They tend to play a little bit too aggressive. Hmm. See, like he's only got two dice now and he's still rolling. Damn. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. They get a little bit a little bit kooky. Oh, that's big. That is huge. Okay. Now we got a fresh hand. Two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> okay. As long as he doesn't, we should win on the next hand. Unless he gets 1150. We've just won. We cannot afford for him to get three ones, which he got. <laughs> Why did I open my mouth? I feel like I, I, I let that into existence by just saying that. Put away that weapon. You can't walk around here with a drone. You fucker. Oh, I had a, I, I had hope and he took it away from me. Son of a, we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back and beat him. Simon, what's going on? Having a good day. I hope you are as well. Currently, we are waiting for the cure at Merhuyed, which we can go back. I was hoping to advance this one a little bit, so we're going to talk to old Thomas, head back to Merhuyed, and continue from there. Okay. Uh, Fritz. Where's Fritz? We got to go ambush him. And since I don't want to kill him with my pole arm, I feel like that'll that'll do more harm than good. We'll drop that pole arm right there for us. And Fritz, let's go hey, assault him. I talked him into going to play dice. All we have to do is lie in wait for him. <laughs> I can't wait to see that stupid look on his face when we're alone in the. I'm sure he doesn't have the slightest idea what's waiting for him. Good, good. So in the evening you'll come and see me, and we'll. What now? Could you tell Matthew about it? After all, take care. Hey, Henry. Well, I spoke with him. How did it go? Did you come to an agreement? No. What will we do now? I suppose we could just leave. Uh -huh. Don't go running off just yet. Fritz and I have come up with a plan. Shit. You want to trounce him, don't you? Aye. I convinced him to go and play dice at the neighboring mill, and we're going to lie in wait for him. And then we're going to have a nice little talk with him about his behavior. Shit, shit, shit. An arranged fight, maybe, but this, it's assault. We could hang for it. Oh, come on, why would they hang us? In any case, there'll be no fight. All the same, if you two fools think this will solve everything... Don't be such a pessimist. This kind of trick always works on people like him, you'll see. God be with you. Okay, so we got a fight tonight. Let's head back then. In the meantime, maybe we could gather up some more lucky dice because we will have to do um, Hans Capon's love quest. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it. So we will need some lucky dice before the end of the game. We might as well go about kind of collecting it now while we wait. What do you got? We're just gonna have to. Mm -mm. We're gonna have to be selective over which treasure maps we hit because some of them are very hard which won't be accessible to us But there are some with Less hard locks Which reminds me can we get this one with st. George's sword? Because this one traditionally you do need a level of you do need the luck of the drunk perk Ramos, what's going on man? How are you? Happy to see you here Happy beautiful Wednesday. Um, let me orient yeah. myself with where the St. George's sword will be. Yeah. We're looking for a cart. Okay, that's yeah. the road. That's the cart. We turn about. 30 degrees about yeah. like that and we should come across that woodland garden
somewhere up here. Uh, maybe I didn't turn enough. Hang on. Let's go back. It's something like that. It's also been it's also been a minute since I've actually taken St. George's Sword in a playthrough, so bear with me here. Most of my my ways of finding stuff are being thrown off a little bit. All right, so we're at the cart. It's going to be about that way. There it is. Okay, yeah, I just didn't turn it off the first time. There we go. Got it done. And can we lockpick it? Yeah, see, that's... Th that's going to be the crux of a lot of this stuff, is we're not a high enough level, we yeah. can't drink, and we can't level up. We can't take the luck of the drunk perk. So we have to naturally get there. Uh, there there's no real shortcuts. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Off the mirror, ho yet. Let's finish up that quest. Is it just me, or does it seem like it rains a lot more in the back half of the game than in the front half? This is like the third day in a row where it's been pouring down raining. I don't remember it raining this much at, like, before Privis Lovitz. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But it seems like now every single day is absolute dog shit. There we go. So now we got a fine Nicodemus, which we can actually use that little golden icon up in the... Up top. So he should be in here. No, he's in the next house. Shit. That's Straw's house. Is Straw still dead? Oh, I didn't think about that. Does that affect his, um his attack on us or does he come back as a different character because we did kill straw does that mean he can still attack us inside the uh when we're talking to the captive i wonder so here i am how are things looking it's a good thing you're here we need a helping hand i'll take care of melikar and straw they wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. Damn peasants. Be funny we call them peasants while we look like that. Yeah. Ignorant yokels. That brigand has to live. He's a... I'd be careful with such statements. Farewell. Bunch of peasants. Not like me. All noble and stuff. All right, let's actually set this pole arm down so I can actually sprint. No, I was hoping it would stand up. Maybe if we put it in the center of the road, will that help it stand? We have a way of doing it. No. Come on, be a good scythe. Be a good scythe and stand up straight for us. 
There it is. Okay. That's all it is. It's just environmental. All right. So now we know where that is. Now I can actually sprint. Can't sprint with that stupid polearm. Here's brother, Hulk Hogan. Is that you? What's up, brother? We have to yes, yes. Is this holy water, brother? Yes, yes, brother. First video on this playthrough thinking... Uh, Sir Sam, so we can equip a weapon if we train with Bernard, but it doesn't stay. It it equips and unequips as soon as we get out of the uh, the training with him. I think I tried that before, but uh, so far our strategy has been fairly solid. I would say. I mean, we're we're making pretty decent progress. But yeah, we, we've tried a couple different ways. The only thing that auto-equips that we could find... Oh, shit, that's where he is. Is the Vom Brace when, when we do the bow hunting. Or, pardon me, when we train bows with him and uh, Hans. And those are still equipped right now. That's that's still the only armor we've actually had for this whole playthrough. Yes. Well, I Good Lord above. Drink this. Thank you. But that is solid. I might I might actually just try it just for just for fun next time we're in Ratai just to see cuz I mean I don't know if we don't have a weapon at all maybe it will. It's not a bad thing to to test. God, how many times am I going going to go into the same fucking house? And he said he would take care of straw, so we just got to go up to this next one. Arthava, you're back. All right, welcome back. Many happy returns. Okay, so not you. Oh, this guy. You're back. Of course. I don't doubt that now. Did you deliver? Oops. Oh, sh <laughs> We never... We never did shit with that priest. What happens if we lie? It lies securely in the safe... What a relief. Oh, God. Don't worry. I brought a oh. remedy from Sasa. He gave us 300 Rick groschen on our word. Oh, God, he's going to be pissed. Oh, he's going to be so mad. Well, apparently we don't even need to do it. We can just lie our way through it. Katie, hey, thanks for stopping in. How are you today? Uh, the reason we have no clothes is the challenge is we can't open the player menu at any point, which means... Uh, Throughout this whole playthrough, I've not been able to equip a weapon from inventory, nor have I been able to equip any sort of clothing, uh, take any perks, none of that. So anything that requires the menu, we cannot do. And hence is the reason why we are naked. You have to write as well. Yeah, we never did. We just lied our way through and, and somehow he bought our, uh, bought our bullcrap, so... Hopefully that doesn't have any repercussions on us. Uh, I think that's everyone. It's not. Who do we miss? Oh, maybe Matthias. But as far as I know, Matthias isn't sick. He's just, he got hurt. Or am I missing something? I think that's everyone. Maybe. Nope, it's not Matthias. Uh, Katie, yes, you do have the basic clothing in the prologue, but remember, when you transport over to Ratai, you're stripped naked by Teresa. So, after that, as soon as you wake up in Ratai, you have to clothe yourself, which is basically when we lost all that clothing. The only reason we have Vombrace on right now, so if you look down, the only reason we have Vombrace, those get auto-equipped for you when you do training with Captain Bernard with bows, and that's basically when they get put on you, and we have not taken them off since. Uh, so, yes, you are correct. We had those clothes at one point, but they got stripped off us, and we have not been able to reclothe ever since. Who am I missing? I don't get it. Maybe Straw. He he said he would take care of Straw and Melikar, but maybe not. Look out. No. Her? 
Good day. Let's see. This is just for some speech XP. Maybe if we just talk to Melikar, maybe that's what's maybe that's what's missing. I also, if you're wondering why I'm bumbling around, I also can't open the quest log. That's all part of the player menu. So I kind of have to know my way around the map and around how these quests are in order to progress. I think all we need is Melikar. If not, I'm just going to break my way into that thing and, and kill the guy. I don't know what to say about that monster tamer. <laughs> I'll let that sit. Vombre's drip is so real. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's definitely the only thing he's got going for him. That's for sure. Um, so we already cured her. I don't get it. What are we missing? Who else do we need to cure? Just bribe the girl and she'll give you the key? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, instead of bumbling her way around. Because, I mean... Uh, I mean, we might not even have to bribe her, I think. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Here's our bribe. We'll let her live. We don't even got a briber. Oh my god. Did she her Oh my god. Her body flying across the room somehow damaged this. We have we we took 3 damage there with her levitating off that chair and flying across there. Holy shit. And oh, the guard is gone. Oh, we need our polearm. We need our polearm. He's patiently waiting for us. All right, come here, Scythe. Let's go. Uh, is this Melikar? You know what? We're too far gone at this point. We're, we're, we're going rogue. I think we can even complete it, but at this point... Ah, screw it. No, because that's going to save us a trip all the way to Ratai. Okay, let's see. We, we do have it. Yes. Okay. Of course I will. Okay, that's it. Oh, I know. So right now, that's what it was. We we had completed everything. We just hadn't we told him. You should be God be with you. But we also have the barn key too. So we we kind of did a, a little bit of both. Hopefully she doesn't rat us out. What the snitches are no good. Now here's the real question: Does straw come after us? What do you think you're doing? Because we've already away. killed him. Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Henry from Scal, let's never pull out. <laughs> How did you get the username Henry from Scal? I'm genuinely curious about that. Pretty sure Warhorse would pay you good money for that username. But I appreciate you stopping in. Thank you. Uh, it shouldn't take long for the cure to take effect. Oh. If you don't put that weapon away right now, I'll call a guard on you. You're not going to call the guard on me for choking you out and flinging you across the room? Stop waving that weapon around here. Okay. Go and get a guard. You hear me? Put it away. I'm cool. <laughs> You are cool. All right, we just gotta wait it out. Let's uh, let's go in there. You know, in the meantime, let's go ahead and and pull out our trusty uh, one-handed polearm trick. There's that. Bam. Bam. It's not cheating. It's a feature. There we go. And...
He should be up at any minute. Mama. Mama. Mm -mm. <laughs> yep. What? Oh, we definitely gave the cure to the sick. That's bullshit. How did I fail that? Oh, that is some horse shit. I'm I might just kill this bastard. We gave the cure to everyone. Check on the bandit. Here we go. Welcome back to the land of the living. My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me. I won't. That's sensible of you. I'm an only I'd like to get it. All. I understand. What do you want? Everything. I thought that's not me. I got my pay. Who? Do we judge? Where? How? Why the so so did so and oh, Dave, I thought we went wasn't she the one that was the sick? Apart the man who's chief, uh I could have sworn I gave her the cure. Me, there was a few others. He does look pretty terrible in this lighting. Looks like the devil. That and he's naked. He's bald. Got a beard. Says you used to bring just looks extra homeless. Right. There is no way he believes that we were sent there by the Lord of Ratai to question him. We look about as we look worse than him. That's all I need. For now. That's for Sir Okay. The straw. Oh my God. We. We broke it, I think. No, okay. No, no, no. Straw, I think, still shows up, even though we killed him. Oh, no. Holy shit. Look at that. If you kill straw beforehand, there's no encounter with straw. Oh. Tell me honestly in the chat who else knew that. I'm, I'm so surprised that they thought that far ahead that if you actually kill him, there is no encounter with him. That is pretty cool. Not going to lie. Warhorse gets a lot of credit for that one. I figured no matter what, he intervenes. But nope, if you kill Straw first, there is no interaction with him. And I'd like to say, for those that didn't see it, Straw attacked us. That was not our fault that we killed him. You knew that, Henry? Well, obviously, you're the main you're the main character. Uh, anyone that's not named Henry from Scalitz, did yeah. they truly know? Yeah. Henry from Scalitz. I wonder, would you happen to be oh, uh, Tom McKay in disguise right now? Awaiting the announcement of your follow-up game. Olaf, you don't remember there being an encounter with him? Um, you can't draw your weapon. There is, yeah, because when you tell when you tell Straw that you want to um, that you want to take him to jail, he barges in. He says, "No, I'm going to kill the bastard for killing my killing my son, and you have to fight him. Then you can take him to jail." But apparently, uh, dead men do not intervene, and, uh, yeah, if you kill him, he just lets you go. Alright. What is next for us? So we took him to jail. Yeah, you never know. I guess not. Well, I know that the guy who plays Han's cape on... I, I, I apologize, I forgot the actor's name. 
Um, he actually has a, a, a Lord Hans cape on. That's his tag. That's his tag on uh, on YouTube. So you never know. Lancaster, Ohio. I didn't know Henry moved there. Boy, this character is a well-traveled character. But welcome in, Henry from Lancaster. Um. Oh, that's right. We have to go beat the shit out of Old Thomas. It's nighttime. This is perfect. We can go talk to Fritz and beat the beat the piss out of Thomas. <laughs> Logan, Ohio. Oh man. Very multifaceted chat. See, SC, I'd have thought South Carolina. That could be initial C. Everyone, no one is, uh, no one is who they seem. Could be Tom McKay. Could be South Carolinians. We had some from Germany in here earlier. Very diverse chat today. I like it. Yeah. Luke Dale. Thank you, Raza. Yes, Luke Dale. Uh, so Luke Dale's uh, YouTube, and I know this because I was watching Roxy's birthday yeah. stream. Sexy Biscuit, she did a birthday stream a couple mix months ago, and yeah, L Luke Dale was in there as uh, Lord Hans Capon. That was his YouTube handle, so you never know. 24 hours and 2 minutes. You are right. In exactly 24 hours and 2 minutes, we shall have... This mystery game that couldn't possibly be Kingdom Come Deliverance to announce to us hey, by Warhorse Studios. All right, I'm here. Let's do it. So let's go. Good luck then. Alrighty. I really hope we don't accidentally just one tap him with our pole arm. But I have a feeling that we will. Oh, here we go. Oh, who? Oh, who? Now listen up. You best start treating your workers better unless you want a repeat of this. Yeah. If I have one more word of complaint about you, I'll kick you from here to Townburg and back. Do you really dare? I'll, I'll... You're what? Get the shit beaten out of you again. <laughs> Maybe. But remember, from now on, that mill's gonna be as peaceful as a cloister on Easter Sunday. I can't believe I've never done that option before. That's fucking awesome. That's that then. Do you think it will be enough? He definitely looked like he'd had enough. True. He'll either stop or make life hell on earth for us. So, anything else you need from me? No. That's incredible. Thank you for your help. Luke Dale's no making some. I have not what seen for. his tweets, but I'll have to check it out. Uh, of course. You're right. Here's something on the Kingdom side. Come Immortal. See, I think Kingdom Come Retribution. Ah, there's no need for that. We'll see. I did it out of friendship. You can spend the coin on drinks at the tavern. Thanks. You're a real friend. Yeah, we you don't really need money. You're you goddamn hey, right you are. Yes, he has. All right, and we kept our pole arm through all that. That's an incredible option. I can't believe I've never done that one. That was like that scene out of, uh, what was that movie? Um, oh god, no, now I'm, I'm really- Oh, there he goes, I'll, do we- can we interact with him anymore? Humans! Oh, what? What? I said good job. Oh, oh god! god. Yeah. There really are humans! Oh my god, I'm fucking out of here. Holy shit, I- I- I would- I- Alarm! Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, no, not in- Ooh. I thought his AI was broken. I was like, there's no humans. Holy shit, yeah. he was right. Yeah. Easy, old fella. Yeah. That, uh, that got me going. <laughs> Off to a bathhouse. It just goes from yeah. bad to worse. 
Oh my god, that could have gone so so horribly. Yeah. Horribly wrong, and it did. Oh, how the turntables. Oof. <laughs> I went from I, that was literally like a whole pan of emotions all in all in uh, about 10 seconds there. At first, I was laughing because I thought his AI was broken. And then I heard the cumin. So I was nervous. And then I fell. So I was even more nervous. Oh, my goodness. This game, man. This game can't let me have a break. I'm, I'm just happy we didn't start bleeding. Yeah. I discovered an accident. I think we were the accident. We created the accident that was in that location. Oh god, we need to rent rent the room and we can't talk to her. Czech Republic. Oh, Katie, hey, welcome from Czech Republic. And yes, we are still playing and hopefully even more people start playing um tomorrow with the announcement i have a feeling like i haven't really ever stopped playing the game i've played other games on the side but this is always like my bread and butter my go-to and i'm hoping with the announcement of the follow-up it's gonna it's gonna cause a lot of hype so either people are gonna go back to it or it's gonna be introduced to them for the first time so here's hoping that the the player base stays strong and even grows a little bit before the release of the follow-up Oh, that is so cool, Katie. I, I am jealous to be able to visit all the locations and everything. Um, I've seen some of them. There have been some some videos out there where they kind of compare um, what the uh, what the modern day equivalent to these cities like Ratai are as far as what they're rendered like in the game and what they look like now. And holy crap, they look absolutely gorgeous. I would love, love, love to be able to see it. Um, maybe sometime when I do a trip out to Europe or something, I'll definitely have to check it out. Yeah. You and me both, Henry. We're both jealous. And see, Katie, that would be a, a good thing. Now you can go to all the, um, the map of KCD and hopefully around this time next year, if the, uh, if the follow-up is released, you can go around and I think they're going to introduce a lot of new map areas in the second game and I'm hoping they leave parts of this one in like the bigger cities like Ratai but I have a feeling we're going to be able to yeah. go to places like Kutenberg um, all the places that are talked about here but we never see so Kutenberg um, what's another big one they always talk about um, Trotsky, uh, Trotsky Castle. That's literally where they're headed at the end of this one. So there should be a lot of new places. Okay. That should heal us right back to 100, which we don't even really need to heal back up to 100. As long as we get our energy up. Yeah, we can go to the bathhouse because we're still going to need nourishment. We don't need to heal all the way. Prague, yes, thank you, Katie. Yes, Prague. I can't wait to see, especially those big cities in medieval times. Can you imagine on um, how good those are going to look? Like this game looks absolutely gorgeous on on six year old hardware. Because remember, this game was never actually re optimized for even the PlayStation Five. It was originally released as a PlayStation Four game at like 30 fps now it looks a little bit better on pc but with them having a new game a bigger budget new locations with bigger cities and optimized right now to run on current gen hardware oh my god it might be one of the most gorgeous games ever made truly because even now it's six years old it still looks gorgeous fine goodbye i feel quite hungry <laughs> <laughs> the timing <laughs> as he's betting as he's getting spoon fed and healed up at the bathhouse he go i feel quite hungry um oh shit that's right and we still gotta we still gotta drink with hans what can we do in the meantime is there any other side quest that we missed that would be fun to do 
we can actually we can sabotage the Kutenberg executioner I think that quest is available to us no I think you're right Henry I don't think it will be for ps4 but if you have a PC or a ps5 and I don't think it's gonna be soon so I have a feeling it might be around the holidays of this year if not next year so who knows maybe that can be a goal either uh, either a PC or a ps5 before then maybe for the holiday season go for a ps5 and then because I know it's gonna be a console release they have to release on consoles and then on top of that they'll be PC uh, let's go to the innkeepers that's what I was that's what I was here for I know what I'm doing Did I do the Lady Stephanie quest? I have not done that one yet. We're gonna have to finagle our way because we can't win the archery contest. I can't equip the bow. I might have to, uh, I might have to pickpocket him. Or I can, what am I talking about? I can just convince him, but we can't even take part in the archery contest. That's the problem. I've never actually tried to do it. Well, yeah. Hey, Katie, that's that's not a bad idea. Good day to you. Um, and while we're doing that, we can also do the horse race. Give us something to sell. Go see Armin, the ex yes, okay. We've got our objectives. Yeah. 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 You're not waiting for PC. They usually release around the same time, don't they? Pretty sure when this one came out, it released for all three at once. The, uh, the Xbox, the PlayStation, and the PC all at the same time. And I mean, you can easily play it the same way as on a console. I mean... I play on controller. I, d I don't use mouse and keyboard when I play on PC. You can uh, you can Bluetooth a controller over. Mm. Yeah. So we'll get the Herman quest started. We'll head up to Neuhof. We'll get the other quest started. And then we'll get the Lady Stephanie quest started. take my pole arm with me I don't think that I do but I'm afraid to leave it down here in case it despawns that's what happened the last time hmm. yeah we're gonna have to just hold on to the pole arm that's why I came back here I was hoping to, to drop it but now I'm having second thoughts last time we left it all the way down at Peshex it went away and we only have a limited amount of these now to finish the game out at least a limited amount of guaranteed ones yes we can pick them up off random encounters but those aren't guaranteed unfortunately vengeance yeah. would be a good name I agree yeah I don't think it's going to be called kingdom come deliverance too it's going to be called kingdom come something you know whatever whatever it is Less than 23 hours? Uh, right at about 24. I, I want to say it's exactly almost 24 hours away. 23 hours and 50 minutes. It's tomorrow at 1 p.m. my time. Uh, so whatever the, the calculation is for that. What's going on? The folk in town are talking about you. And we will be live streaming it for anyone that's around. Um, I'll probably start this stream at about the same time tomorrow at about 
um, you know, 11 a.m. EST, whatever that converts over to you, 10 o'clock my time. We'll probably play this playthrough for about three hours. I'm going to pop it over to the stream with Warhorse, and we're going to be watching the stream live tomorrow with with reactions. We can talk about it. We can we can chat it up. So, oh, it's 11.30 p.m. your time? Yeah, so whatever it is right now for you, it's exactly 24 hours from now. That's when the reveal is, and yeah, I'll be live. Wait. We'll be talking Tell about it, again, chatting, Peter's having right. some fun with it. If you want. They caught Peter of Dauba. They're scum. Mm, that's it would be. Isn't it the co- It is. You're not being replaced, they- They really did fuck you over. My words exactly. So who's doing the job? They invited Executioner Hines- The Electric Boogaloo? They say it's going to be a big show. Have I ever fucked up an execution? I always behead them in one blow. And when his lordship wants to drag out a hanging, I leave them kicking for minutes. If he wants it quick, they're sick Can you imagine? As as drop. Can you imagine if it's not KCD2? What can we do about The you? outrage? Nothing. Well, no. You have the right to executions in Ratai, don't you? I most certainly do. Then you're in the right. Don't tell me you can't think what to do about it. Mm. The trouble is that we can't stop the executions. Now there's an idea. No. Which we don't want. Indeed not. The best thing would be if he fucked up the executions. <laughs> The famous <laughs> Never pull out. Handle the job. The Great. So how do we go about? Hmm. The problem is I don't. Kingdom know Come Teresa. They'll only announce them just before the execution. Don't think he pulls out of her either. To do anything. Can't we just get? That wouldn't work. I'm sorry. That's Suppose not proper. The Why the hell? Well, it would be only. For Would the bailiff? Know You're turning me into a g degenerate, yeah. Henry. You stop it. This is a clean stream, a family-friendly stream. Right. And you're bringing out the worst yeah. out of me. Shame on you. Of course. Kingdom came. Great. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> so where should I start? Find out from the. It goes back. You need to find. Kingdom them, came and went. And we'll work. I'll get moving. <laughs> if it's not, if it's not a and sequel, Henry? that's that's what the new name is going to be. Kingdom came and went, and it's going to be a complete different different game at all. What's uh from this one? Damn. Stay away from people who can't ride a horse. Okay. So we need to go and we need to go and figure out what the convicts did. We're going to need to wait until nighttime anyway. Kingdom gone. Kingdom yeah. has left the chat and went off somewhere else. Yeah, they, they just tease the they just tease the pick with the gargoyle and then if you actually look yeti spaghetti They just posted another one. It's someone sitting in a pew inside of a church. They I think they just posted that one this morning So there is three now. There's the uh, There was the original one with the horse and the big reveal there's that one with the gargoyle and then this morning they posted one of a guy that Kinda looks like Henry, but kinda doesn't. I can see arguments for both sides. Sitting inside of a church at a pew, looking up at the altar. So, I have a feeling that it will be, but they're still being very obscure. Uh, we need to talk to the bailiff. Clash of Clans for mobile. Yeah, that's gonna be the new uh, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> You're just going to start seeing the mobile games now that they're ported over. And would like to announce the Kingdom Come for mobile for Android, what iOS, and uh, iPhones it. has been announced. I hear there's going to be a big execution here. There certainly is. It'll be a glorious event for our town. They'll Who's for the chop? Yeah, I can't imagine it's not open world. That's kind of if it's going to be medieval, open world, sandbox, RPG like that. It all all of those have to be there. I don't think they're going to entirely change genres. Who's this Peter of Dor? A noble who lost his fortune. That's all. At first, but then. Okay, so Peter is the noble. What can you tell me about? They call him Frost because I've seen plenty of killers. Why? They say the only thing that'll put a smile on. 
and they caught him. He had a Okay, so that one's going to be the one Christ. that's the worst one well, and then George Weiss. Weiss. No one actually knows where he came from, but they say the murdering Thanks, Faith. Good luck. Okay. Now going back to Herman. You've never played a mobile game? So the only one, I don't know if this counts. I don't know if this counts, but Netflix just recently started doing mobile games on the Netflix platform. And I could not help myself. I got uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on my mobile. And it's free if you have Netflix. You just have to download. It's a pretty sizable file. Now, it plays kind of like shit because it's a touchpad, all of it. Um, and technically it's not a mobile game. It was a PlayStation 2 game that they ported over to mobile. So I don't know if that full on counts. I've, I, I'm with you. I've never played, um, a mobile game either. As far as the traditional sense, like a Raid Shadow Legends, nothing that was ever meant to be a mobile game, but I have played some on my mobile from older ports. I think at some point I had like, uh, one of the Pokemon games that was ported over to mobile. So... I don't know if that counts, but I've done that. And uh, someone told me yesterday that apparently I, I never got the chance to check it out. I had work yesterday, but someone told me that uh, apparently you can play Farkle on your phone. And I was worried. I'm like, well, there goes all my free time because I fucking love Farkle. I need your advice. So. I'm probably going to download that today and, and, and mess with it. I hope it's multiplayer. Well, you can play online against someone, but oh, That's man. You have to find out how they'll be punished. Have a look in the Black Chronicle. Oh, shit. We needed the Black Chronicle. Okay. Yeah. And I forgot what he said about George Weiss. Yeah. So one of them is going to get hung. That's the peasant. Frost is going to get... I think George Weiss is the yeah. noble. No, no, no. Peter. Peter's the noble. He's going to get executed because that's a noble's death. George Weiss was the murderer. Yeah. He's going to get hung because he's also a peasant. So he's, he's going to get the hanging. And then Frost is the one that gets like eviscerated. That's the one that gets all his all his intestines and shit ripped out. See, it does make you think. Playing this without the without the quest log, you don't realize because like I've played this quest several times, quite a few times, but I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what each punishment is and exactly which name is and not being able to open my my quest log does make it much harder. That is not the Black Chronicle. Neither is that. Where is the Black Chronicle? Oh my god. I still can't believe this scribe is awake. Playing at with that weapon? I still can't believe it. He's still awake after days and days. Never thought I'd see the day when this lazy bastard actually got up and did some work. You're a good peasant. You don't want to die a noble's death? I feel like it would be so much easier. But I guess, in your defense, if you take the peasant's way and get hung, if the rope breaks, you have a chance. They have to let you go. At least with an execution, you that, that's 100% kill rate. You're definitely going to die. Say a quick hello to Alex while you're here. You know what? Fuck Alex. No, we're not going searching for him again, Simon. You remember the trouble we had yesterday? Motherfucker could be anywhere. Alex is dead to me. After what he pulled to me yesterday, Alex is officially dead to me. If I never have to see him again, that'll be a good day. Shame on you for making fun of me. Not being able to find the dude. That was miserable. 
Our meat is spoiling. We have a limited amount of time. Sun's going down. I know he's about to go to bed and we can't find this bastard anywhere in the, in the town. That was sad and pathetic. All right. Yeah. Try to be efficient here. So we'll get this one rolling. Yeah. 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 Not even holding the spear when you run. Yeah, we uh we put some we put some gorilla glue on his palm and it's just fucking planted right there. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> His hand is open like this, if you see. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say I'd say we officially broke the game with that one. I need your advice. Did you find out what they did? Yes. So okay. Tell me what you I need found to I need to I'll listen to what he says. So just bear so I remember. I can help you work it out. Every executioner has his own way of doing things. Peter of Dorba has many murders on his soul, but he's okay. still a nobleman. Nobleman? His Chop. neck is going on the block. That makes sense. His crimes are great. George Weiss is a bloodthirsty bastard who left a trail of corpses behind him. Hanged. He hasn't earned an honorable death. He's for a long drop on a short rope. A murderer okay. deserves nothing better. Frost Herald is the worst of them all. The executioner will take his time with that. Got it. He'll be begging to die. Aye, could be. So, have we got everything we need? We've covered all the possibilities. There's nothing more we can think of. So, what's the plan then? An executioner's greatest boast is to behead with one blow. That's what... Hmm. It won't be easy. The executioner's sword... Couldn't it just be switched for a different one? He'd notice straight away. I could take yours and... He'd recognize that too. So I'll have to steal it. Oh, and it we got a speech. Awesome. Anyone... Yes, that's can't take the, the perk, way. but that'll be interesting. The more the better, I guess. And how can I dull this? I thought that'll do me with rip. So okay, so we need make... uh, need to I buy a poison. No, they use. What if I don't do that? Maybe the hmm. I know a little. That... Maybe do I have that'll a poison? Me. Oh no, I know exactly where I can get a poison. Wrong. Okay, nope. Not I a big deal. But I, well, it's not far from here. We can actually get a free right. poison. Supposing I... No. That'll do. Thanks. Okay. So, we need a poison, and then we can wait until nighttime, and also... I need a Nighthawk... ...and a Sneaking Potion. Because our sneaking is not great, and the other problem is, because we can't take the Vom Brace off... Well, I can, but I can't re-equip them, and I'd rather have them. I need my sneak, lockpicking, and pickpocketing to be as high as possible, so I need one of those potions. And I also need a poison for the sword. Or not the sword, um, the tongs. Yeah. The game's combat is kind of goofy. It has its quirks. If you, if you kind of get used to it, it's not bad. It's definitely a little bit of a slow grind in the beginning, and there, there are still issues that I have with it. I, I put out a, a, my wish list for KCD2 video not long ago, maybe about five months ago, and that is one of the issues I addressed. I said I wish that they could refine the combat. Now, it's unique. I don't know of any other games kind of in this genre of open world that have quite this, you know as good a mechanics as it but it has it has jank i mean for a small studio it's kind of to be expected unfortunately but um it's unique and i think if they can build a pro that they have a good foundation if they can build upon it it'll be a win if they keep it the exact same and never evolve it that will be a little bit of a letdown but i think they can uh they can definitely make it better. Now, do these bodies despawn? I bet you they do. 
If you remember, I think we ended the first stream off with loading up four bodies into this, uh... Yeah, no, they're all gone. Damn it. How cool would that be if there were still four bodies in there? So with the master strike, okay, that's that could be why. So the the shield icon is for the perfect block. The master strike has to be done a, a like a small second prior to that. Yeah, not before starting the attack. Well, I think that's there to. Uh, oh God, I forgot. I forgot we didn't do any of the ruin quests, so that all the bandits are still alive. Now, uh, I am watching, if you raise your defense, that improves your timing windows a lot for executing the Master Strike. So that is kind of a genius idea where leveling up a skill actually helps you out. So if you level up your defense to be really high, your timing window for the Master Strikes, I think it grows from like a half a second to almost a full second. So could be that you're still kind of early on in the game maybe. If I had to guess, and that's why your timing windows are so tight, but yeah. once you get towards the end of the game and level up your defense, I mean, you pretty much have all day to push that block button. And you'll still execute the Master Strike. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, raising your defense is going to help you executing the timing with Master Strikes. To the point where that's almost your go-to counter. Like, even if you, at, at any point during their swing animation, if you hit block, you'll pretty much do a Master Strike. You can train that up pretty easy with Captain Bernard also. Okay, so we are looking for a little shack where the dude poisons himself, and there should be a free little poison sitting in there for us, and actually yeah. it should be... Here is this pathway. Should be off to our right. Yeah. Okay, there's this. Uh, it's down a little. Yeah. Down a little. I really wish I could open my yeah. map so I could double check, but I'm going off. Uh, ha! Ha! God, I'm fucking good. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I suck. Poison. Got the poison. Uh, I think actually there's more stuff we can loot out of here too. Yes, it's an easy chest. Maybe? Oh, please be a loaded die in here somewhere. Please be a loaded die in there. Odd die. Oh, I love it. And a bunch of good stuff. We can't really use a lot of it. But yes. <gasps> Oh, Reforged Scythe. Okay, I was like, did they just give us a new good one? Okay, so he killed himself. Are you any... I'm pretty good at the archery. Uh, not at the start of the game, but, I mean, you get me to, like, level 5 when some of the shake goes away, I'm I'm pretty decent. I've hit my fair share of, of pretty, uh, pretty decent shots. And I never use the, um, uh, that, that reticle mod, um... You yeah. know, for, for most of the play cycle of this game, I played on console, so I didn't have access to console commands. So a lot of people ask me, why don't you use this mod, or why don't you use the simplified um, lock picking or the, yeah. the show cursor mod? I'm used to what the game plays like. I know what its quirks are. I know where, you know, where some of its issues are. It just, for me, I like that. I like that the cursor goes away. I... If there was an option to do that in Skyrim, I would do that do that in Skyrim as well. Yeah, it grows on you. Because it's a challenge. Like, if you can hit a far off shot, tell me there isn't some sort of joy. Anyone that's ever played this game, tell me you haven't felt like this outright joy hitting like a 100 foot fucking far ass shot with a bow. And you know why you feel that joy? It's because the game didn't help you do it. You had to actually like aim and fire and there's like something about it where y your heart just kind of 
like levitates a little bit and it's it's because it's hard because if you were to hand the controller you could have a maxed out level 20 character henry where every single one of his stats is maxed out you could hand this the controller over to your buddy who's never played and he would get fucking demolished it's not an easy game it really isn't it doesn't hold your hand it doesn't tell you how to do anything you have to grind your way and when yeah. you do holy shit it's so rewarding and that's why I love it. Skyrim is too easy. You can do some mods in Skyrim to make it harder, but yeah. This one's kind of out the box easy. You don't have to mod it up. Um, why do we, Oh yeah, okay. We, we, we now have to go... We have to go and get those other potions. Now, I forgot what potions I have on me, and I forgot if I already have a stealth potion, so we'll have to check. I don't think I do. Uh, the one I'm after is the... Not cobweb. It requires a cobweb. I'll know it when I see it. Nighthawk, no. Uh... No. What are you playing yes, very excited for tomorrow's reveal. Ah, I'll be live streaming it. We'll be talking about it. Yeah. We'll all cry a little together. Tears of joy. Or tears of sorrow when it's, you know, Cowboy Space Simulator 2 and not Kingdom Come Deliverance. But yes, we should be having some fun and very excited. Six Don't years overdue. Well, not overdue, but a six-year long wait. Hopefully about to pay off. We do need Nighthawk, too, but he does not have any of the stealth potion that I need. Laser? No. My dog hears someone. He started barking. Um... Let's go check out that herb woman. And while we're there, we got to go to Neuhoff anyway to trigger that, uh, that horse race. So we'll try to do that. But I feel like the only way we're going to be able to sneak onto that encampment is with that stealth potion. Oh, you found the channel today? Well, Henry, thank you so much for, for being here, for joining us, and hopefully joining us tomorrow. I appreciate it. How, uh, which video did you, uh, did you watch first to help you discover the channel? I'm curious. I'm always curious as to which one, uh, drew people onto the channel. Sayo tap, yeah, Cowboy Space Sim. I think Bethesda did something like that, and it worked out great for them. Good old Todd Howard over there. It just works. Yeah, it didn't fucking work this time. I don't know. Maybe that's another one that's very quirky. I've heard a lot of negatives about Starfield. I don't I don't like to be that one that judges a game before I play it. I have not played it. I had my doubts about it, and then they were unfortunately kind of confirmed. Now that doesn't mean it also can't come good. Cyberpunk 2077, I thoroughly enjoyed, and that got fucking torn apart when it released because it had so much stuff missing. And now it's kind of turned onto a new feather, and, you know, everyone loves it now. So, hope's not dead for Starfield. I just know right now it's not the game that people were hoping for, so... Oh, gotcha, this one. Okay, well welcome this is your welcoming to the channel yeah pretty much everything on here is kingdom come deliverance hopefully you get something good out of it god's blessings i have a couple other challenges also up on the channel too prior ones that i've done padfoot here we go two of those thank you uh hair of the dog doll maker can't really use that one unfortunately
Oh, Katie, the one health bar video? Oh, man, that was such a fun live stream. It was such a weird way to play the game. And uh, I had so much fun. And that was actually my first ever live stream that I'd ever done. So that one I was, like, particularly nervous in going into. But... Katie, thank you for uh, thank you for coming back. I, I'll say it's it's very easy to watch a video. To come back is really uh, I must have been yeah. doing something right. So I I really appreciate it. I had so much fun editing that one too. Yeah. It uh, I haven't been editing for very long. I think I've only been editing now for like eight months. So I'm still learning new stuff every single time I edit one of these videos down. It's a lot of content to go through. I want to say a single playthrough itself is about 40 hours i'll typically go back into the game and film some b-roll for transitional scenes you know so that's maybe another five hours then there's script writing recording editing it takes a while but i'm i'm having an absolute blast i went the wrong way <laughs> i went the wrong way i meant to go to neuhoff oh hang on wait i know why i went this way god I'm stupid. I need to talk to him about getting the stuff from Townburg because we're going to Townburg anyway. I want to. I want to rob those um, those suits of armor from Townburg. That's why I came here. God be with Caleb, you. what's going on, man? How are you? Thanks for stopping in. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need. You may have heard that Sir Robot of Townburg. The commander of the It's like this. Ah, and once Sir Robot here take at least Consider it I'll burn Goodbye. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. This is efficient gameplay right here. We're getting multiple quests done all at the same time. how you do it you're not just bumbling around and for those of you that were around for my last set of live streams where we tried to beat it as an npc um just so you know i'm currently editing those down but my god the fact you guys came back to this one because that one was painful doing it with no horse we we're running to all these places holy shit it, it, it's funny because i'm doing the script writing for it now and starting the editing process and I'm realizing how much a big portion of the streams were just running from fucking place to place on foot, no horse. Oh my God. Those of you that sat through that one, you guys are true champions. Cause I'm like, holy shit, we're still running all the way to Privis Lovitz. And then we got to run all the way back. And oh man, truly shocking. You guys stuck around. So I thank you. Thank you so much. Put the weapon away. That's forbidden here. Oh yeah? Good health to you. This weapon is the only reason we saved you earlier, so I don't want to hear it. I found Ginger. Oh, and Ginger's still out. Why oh god. Take him back? What? Why? That's not true. Those are just excuses. Has Ginger been they out at that shack for like a month since we left them there? Oh my god, I forgot all about blood. Ginger. Why not? And now it's the cutthroat. And what about Fuck I Ginger? He ran off, good. made her job difficult. Yeah. Fuck that kid. Really? Have you got that weapon in your hand? Do you need a hand with that? I said, but why? Up, although we. Then why would he? I don't. <clears throat> For those that don't know, by the way, if you want a free nobleman, uh, or the noble saddle with four, with four bags, the best saddle in the game. If you do this quest and win, uh, why you need? get it as a quest reward. So I need. A it's worth doing. Wow. Plus, it's fun. Nice. You get to do a horse race. All right. That would be good luck then. Got to make sure to take Zora's Dappled Gray. Over to Townburg. And we can do the yeah. horse race the next day. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Nobody likes Ginger? I know. Do you think it's the red hair or his personality? Which one is it? I feel like people just inherently hate Gingers. I don't get it. But I just, I don't know. I kind of get that feeling. Ron Weasley was never really liked in the Harry Potter series, and I have a strong suspicion it's due to his Ginger hair. 
I don't know. I'm still working out the theory on that one. The Nest of Vipers quest. That was the one leading up to Privislav, it's correct? I believe so. Nest of Vipers, that sounds like the one where you sabotage the camp. I... I would check my quest log, but that's against the rules, so uh, now I just have to go off the knowledge of what the quests are called. Um, if it is, if the Nest of Vipers is the one where you uh, sabotage the camp, you don't actually have to sabotage the camp. So basically, the way we did that one is we just ran through at full speed. Yeah, we just ran through the camp at full speed. We didn't sabotage or anything, and we just asked for all the troops that we could. And you can actually pass that test without sabotaging anything at all. Um, so that's the way we did it in this one. Uh, same thing with the NPC run. We just kind of went into the area, scattered out the front gate, and ran back to, uh, to Radzig. Yeah, and with Runt, oh my god. With this build, it actually was like a cakewalk. We literally, like, I, I think we hit him, what, five times, and he was dead? Yeah, Runt was stupid easy Thank with this build. Oh god, and here we go. Let's get this back into one hand. Okay, we'll pick it up. Save. Load. Bam. Yeah! Would you rather... So would you rather they make games in the same era or a completely different era after KCD2? I'm gonna say it depends on where they leave off KCD2. If the story comes to a close and there's nowhere else they can go... So here's what I'm really hoping for out of KCD2. Whether they pick up the story right where it leaves off or there's a time skip, I think they can explore... There we go. Little encounter right here. Um, they can definitely cover the Hussite Wars. I feel like that's going to be a good good source for them to to get some... Oh, God, there's some guards there, too, and I think we just hit that one. Oh, nope. Let's not do that. We have a chance at a polearm, too, because this one's probably getting pretty beat up. We've had this polearm for a while. Um, yeah, if, if they don't cover anything out of the Hussite Wars... In the, in the follow-up, I feel like they have a good opportunity, so I'd like to see them stay. If they cover everything up nicely, and they can wrap up the story, I would not mind to see what else they could do with either a modern game. I think they're really good at doing medieval games, so yeah. the, the short answer would be I'd like to see them stick in the same era, maybe cover a different topic, because I think this, this type of content comes natural for them. But... If they wrap this story up and they want to explore a different style of game, I would absolutely follow them. I just think that this is their bread and butter because they seem really good at history and uh, and doing that sort of stuff. So, suppose I'd like to see them stay at it, but... If they decide to do something else, I would support them 100%. After KCD2. Not before. That doesn't mean next. It means eventually. Not to get that twisted if they watch this and they're like, see, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Uh-uh. Give us what we want first, then give us what you what you want. But we come first, goddammit. Man, this guy was... I'll beat the hell. Oh, here's the pole arm. Here we go. Oh, and it's the Italian bill. Oh, we're taking that 100%. Absolutely. The only problem is it's from a guard, so it's considered stolen. So I do have to be careful where I set it down. Because if we put it down in the middle of town and pick it up, we're going to be wanted. So I got to be careful with this one. Oh, no. We need 
Zora's Apple Gray. I do have to be careful with this one. That should work out pretty nicely. Yeah. And if we hold on to it for long enough, it'll actually stop being stolen anyway, so hopefully this Italian bill can be ours. I think it goes scythe, that reforged scythe that we had, then spear, then the Italian bill, and then the best one is halberds. Yeah. That'll become like a Todd Howard. I don't know if they're physically capable of being stupid enough to be Todd Howard. I'm just kidding. I don't think yeah. Todd Howard is stupid. Are we in fucking Ujits? How did I end up in Ujits? How the fuck did I end up in Ujits? Genuinely, did I make that bad of a turn? I must have. God. Well, I mean, it's not... It's not that far, but how the hell did I do that? I was I was shooting for Townberg. I somehow ended up in Ujit. Okay, well we need to go out this way, then we can get to Townberg. Oh God, I'm having flashbacks to my hardcore challenge run permadeath series. This is exactly how that run ended. You know what? I'm saving. Yeah. This is exactly how that run ended. I got ambushed around this corner. I had Zora's dappled. Uh, no, no, no. I had the Roan. Okay. No, we're safe then. I had the Roan for Lady Stephanie and I got ambushed here and killed. I just know it wasn't my horse. But this fucking corner right here. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Started sweating a little bit. Man, that corner seems to be my bane. Is it about to be nighttime? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. That works out perfect. Because the efficiency is about to be insane. Hopefully this works out. Otherwise, uh, I'm, I'm going to look pretty foolish. But, okay. This one is from Neuhoff. Damn it. Take good care of him for me. Okay. So, Stable Master, divish about the race. Come on. Divish is upstairs, it looks like. Okay. Greetings. My lord, I bring greetings. Mm. She sends her. But she's a widow. Do we have enough Perhaps to pass? Right. Yes. We'll I hope you it looks that way. Splendid. Let's make a farewell. Okay. So we start the race. Go talk to the stable master. He'll set it up. Talk to Stephanie. Wherever she is. Where's Stephanie? Not in there. That bitch. She's off flirting with someone else. I guess when Henry isn't around, she's need some other young blood to, to flirt with. There she is. Okay. The Lord. Will you keep your You can I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. So now we activate her quest. Can I help? My cousin, yeah, I'm looking for a few things. My lady. <sighs> and. I need. Who am I? From. And. Who am I? From. And. Um... What? What? Good luck, darling. <laughs> Divish's wife is a fun one. Yeah, fun is one way. One way of describing her. Very I'll say fun. Peace. What's wrong? As long as you're not divish, she's fun. Anyone but divish. Prof I 
Well. Oh shit. Nope. Wrong one. About. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So we've activated both of those now. Now we have this quest going in the morning. Quick trip to Sasau. Horse can't get here. That's bullshit. It was here before. Nope. Gotta step all the way out of town. Put that weapon away before someone gets hurt. Put that weapon away, damn it. There's our horse. Quick trip to Sasau. Latradon! Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Quick trip all the way down yeah. to Sasau. That will get us the Moldavite rolling so we can pick that up. What else can we do in Sasau? I guess it doesn't really matter technically because we yeah. can't do... Yeah, I know the monastery stuff takes a minute, but we can still get the Moldavite rolling. We can still do the Moldavite. Because that takes a full 24 hours. Yes. Okay. IQ level 1000 here. <laughs> Likes the idea because he's an old geezer, an old crusty geezer. Maybe. But I mean, even back then they had, uh, they had like the Viagra potions. You'd think he'd still be able to get it up, no? Now what that embrocation potion is, it restores your youth, your youthful energy. Basically, liquidized Viagra. So I don't think he does. I think he, I think he finds it quite offensive. And apparently that potion can work wonders because uh, it got the ever sleeping scribe. He's been up for like four days now. He has not gone back to bed, so that potion fucking works. I can tell you. Damn, this horse has some stamina. I'm pretty surprised we've still been able to sprint this whole way. She wants Henry's seed. Probably. Yeah, just because I guess just because he can get it up doesn't necessarily mean that he can give her a child. Sander Panther, how dare you? How dare you come in here and take away all her hope? We don't need that kind of negativity. It's going to be KCD2, damn it. I'm just kidding. Welcome in. We all hope it's KCD2, but we don't know. Even though we kind of fucking know. Because they're not going to totally change genres when they have one game to their name. Because that would be stupid. Yeah. KC2. Kingdom came and is here to stay. That's what they should name yeah. it. Kingdom has come and is not going yeah. fucking anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Crushing people's dreams out here, Sander. Oh, God. Uh, Warhorse, please fix the stairs. <laughs> My respects to you. Kingdom come staircases. The worst enemy you will ever face going up or going down. Staircases are our worst than Runt has ever been. I think our first death in this one was to a staircase. So 
All I'm saying is a staircase in this run has more kills than Runt had over us. Why don't you just you tell me who the real enemy of is. Try to find the stone. Was that evidently? Hmm. Or may the Lord watch over you. You tell me what medieval's greatest threat is. Is it fucking runt or staircases? Two liberants. Yeah. What time? So it will be in yeah. exactly 23 hours. So basically, if you yeah. subtract an hour from right now and travel to tomorrow, it is exactly 23 hours away. I'll be live streaming. I'll uh, I'll try to set up a notification or something on the channel. But Caleb, whatever time zone you're in, just yeah. add 23 hours to it and you're there. 10 p.m. European, Central European. Yes, 23 hours. You guys got me covered. I cannot wait gonna be so good okay yeah. bandits out this way Okay, and there they are down there. What was that? Who's there? Oh, what? No, don't run away. Don't you run away. Oh, God, he's got a bow. Yeah. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm so fucked. I am so fucked. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. How he did not hit me is a miracle. Oh, he has lined up a shot. Oh, my God. Oof, that was pretty stressful. Let's not do that again. I don't know where he is, though. I can't see him. I need to get away a little bit. It's yeah. bad. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Hang on a sec, everyone. Hang on. We are back. Yeah. Sorry, had to, uh, from the old landlord. Yeah. All right, um, fighting the archer right now. Let's try and get him. I think he ended up actually going to bed. He went back to bed. Let's try to get him on foot. Yes, he is. There he is. Oh, come on. No. No. No, get back here. Oh, that fucker. You fucker. Okay, that's that's why we need the torch in our hand. Because the game is going to fuck me. 
If we could have stabbed, we would have had him. That's it. You know what? No. If the game fucks me, I fuck the game. There it is. Now we pick it up. We save. Load back in. There we go. Let that dude come back. I promise you it goes so much worse for him. How that first one didn't hit, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Moldavite. There's not really anything else here worth taking. It's not really all that great of stuff. Now, we are pretty over encumbered. Let's get our horse over, and I don't want to be surprised by this archer. I really don't. I feel like he could really fuck up our whole day. But let's go get this moldavite turned in. Yeah. So the timer for that can start. Yeah. I don't want to spend too much time looking for that archer. I just. Yeah. Ah, uh, disappointing that it wouldn't let me stab. It's so stupid they don't let you stab with a pole arm unless it's in one hand. Because you would think that's the number one use of a pole arm. That's when they're most effective. And you got to glitch the game in order to stab. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset about that at all. Not even a little bit. Get it over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could be it. Or maybe because I don't have pronouns in my bio, it doesn't send out my notification. One of the two. God, the fucking stairs again. Come on. Is this going to be a fucking well, struggle every time we try to ascend any sort of about that mold of staircase like yeah. we're just going to get stuck right there? Yes. That sounds that's the bad news. Anyway, of course, excellent. God be with you. Okay. Got the mold by handed in. Back to Ratai in record time. What time is it? 2200. Yeah. We have the entire night to get done what we need to get done. I feel very confident that we can do it. Yeah. I am supremely confident we can get done both quests in one night. Before the morning time, before the horse race. As long as I'm efficient and don't fuck around, yeah. we need to beeline straight back for Ratai. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't die here. Very cool not to die. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's a bandit camp right here. Okay, yeah. so we're headed the right way. This should spit us out in Ledechko. Yeah. And then we should be just a short ways away from Ratai. Answered it for you. <laughs> yeah. Han and Re. <laughs> oh, please don't get lost. I We're doing so well. Yeah. Don't get lost here. Only one way to find out, Henry. You gotta message them on their live stream tomorrow. You just spam them yeah. with I'm Henry from Scallops. Who knows? They might even give you like early access yeah. or something. The fact that you're that committed to their game. Okay. I am officially yeah. somewhat lost. I'm not fully lost, but I don't know where the fuck I am. I can't see five feet in front of me, which is a problem. I need to look for... That skyline of Ratai. Like where that castle is. I don't see it though. There are some yeah. rocks over there. Oh, come on. If only I knew where that conciliation cross is. That would help. Okay. Oh, we're at the water. I think that's good news. That is good news. We're by water. Oh, where do you lead to? Where do you lead to? Oh, no. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, we went the wrong way. I know exactly where I am right now. I know exactly where I am. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're on the right side of the water right now. Uh, this is going to take us right past uh, the Miller, which is Fuck me. We never grab those. Those guard uh, armors. Yeah. We never grab the armor from Townberg, but it's OK. We have to go back to Townberg anyway. OK, here's the Miller. That isn't Peshek. And now this way to Ratai. Yeah, we just went the wrong way. Yeah. But it's okay. We still have... Yeah. It's only 11. Still got some time. Still got time. Yeah. Yeah, did I turn left? Yeah, shit. I yeah. just... I can't see. I'm trying to go as fast as I can right now. It's a little bit easier watching. But when you're actually doing the navigating, you think you're going the right way and you just kind of you zone out and then you kind of come to and you're like, where the fuck am I? And unfortunately, that's what happened to me there. Patrick's. Let's start solving some of the problems that we have right now. So, 
At Peshex, drop this. No, you don't. You don't fall down like that. You stand straight up. You bastard. Okay. As long as we remember where it is. Let's in fact, let's even bring it inside. So I remember where it is. Come on. There it is. Oh, look at that. That's all it took. Okay. In here. We need... Nighthawk. Eat. Now we can see in the dark. Oh, and let me drop some of this useless shit. That we can probably sell. Well, it's not useless. It's very expensive. But right now, it does not provide any immediate use for us. Neither does that. That. None of that. And we need as much room in our inventory as we can. Okay. Good. Let's not knock that one over. All right. Now at that upper, at that upper cooking pot is when we can take, there we go. We don't even need that torch anymore. Is that's where we can take the stealth potion. We can go into that, into that camp and steal a bunch of his shit. And I'm hoping we can do that all in one fell sweep. <laughs> Gotta listen to which way the wind is blowing. That's the other navigational tip. Okay, yeah, before we pass this cooking pot, let's go ahead and pop our stealth potion is going to be the pad foot eat from that got to hurry up and get out of town before we get a bounty for not having a torch and I'm hoping that's enough to get us into that camp unseen or even if we get seen as long as we can get to a point where we can knock them out but it should be dark enough that they're all asleep yeah Let's see. Oh. Oh, he's coming right for me. Shit. So is he. Why are they not asleep? Genuinely curious why they're still awake. Tries to torture anyone with this, the lucky fellow will die quickly. We just need to knock them out. I'm not trying to kill them. That should do it. It'll never hold the weight of a grown man. OK. 
then. Now we gotta run into town. Where the fuck is our horse? There it is. Okay, we gotta run into town and dull up his sword. And I wonder if I can make it even all the way back before they wake up. Yeah, I think they're gonna have crossbows in the new one too. I heard that from a lot of people being one of the key complaints is the fact that they didn't include uh, crossbows. I mean, I've never, I've never been the biggest fan of them, but if they add them, it's like, I just, I wouldn't use them. You know, I, I don't see myself. I always preferred bows, but yeah, I think they need to add them for, you know, reality because they were even a bigger part of uh regiments than bows were but jousting would be cool too oh man like a mini game of jousting absolutely count me in that's probably all i'd do um yep that's good enough yeah <clears throat> And yes, I am aware that once you put the, uh, oh boy. I'm aware that once you put the executioner's blade back, you can steal it back. I don't really have much use for it. We have more than enough gold and we can't use the sword. So I'm just going to put it back and get out of there. Hopefully before all his henchmen get up. If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, this horse is... Oh, God. Showing me his balls. Is he still knocked out? Are they all still knocked out? I think so. That's one. He's still out. He's still out. Executioner's sword is back. Look at that, boys. All in one swoop. All right, now down to... down to Hans can we even start his quest this late I hope so he just says come to visit him at night I don't know if it needs to be prior to one in the morning but if it doesn't he should be fine See, feed. No, 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 no. That's part of the fun of the uh, archery. I think, if anything, do not give them a reticle because they're going to be slow and they're going to be accurate. Maybe have something on the weapon that can that can kind of orient them, but I don't think I don't want a reticle. That is the one thing that I don't yeah. want because that's what sets this game apart from other archery games is the fact that archery is hard in this one. It's easy once you know it, because you can pretty much one-tap everything, but... Me, personally. I don't want a reticle for... Sir? It's me, sir. Henry. Oh, we gotta... Yeah, we have to wait until tomorrow. Shit! I was so hoping. I'm like, how badass would that be? Knock out, like... Five quests in one night? Ah! Oh, I, I was ready to feel like a badass. Now I just feel like a loser. Like a loser. Well, we got this stuff done for Herman. Um, let's yeah. let's go wait until the morning when he gets up. Yeah, reticles are immersion breaking. Okay, so everyone's kind of in the same camp as me. I figured people would. Uh, oh, oh, we would never knock you down. He stood up for us this whole time. Yeah, feet. No, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, or even like, you know, cause there, there's a, uh, there's a way you can kind of aim accurately with bows in this one. And it's like, you know, if you see where the knuckle is, it's usually going to hit around here. So 
as long as there's even like an aim point that you can use on the weapon i know what you mean now yeah maybe not a reticle but just and some some sort of an aim point you can use but yes make them slow make them powerful and slow they're basically a guaranteed hit if they kill but make them inefficient to be used in a crowd because that's part of the drawback of crossbows you know they're gonna they're gonna kill you if they hit you but you get one because it takes like five minutes to reload them not five minutes but like a full minute to crank it back and do all that yeah timing precision skill not even uh not even like the gamer skill either like the player skill the higher up you go with bow then the less it sways it stops flaying your forearm take skill all around or like getting used to it anyways all right where are you at herman about the executions is it done yes now all we have to do is go and enjoy the show Yeah, it wouldn't drain stamina. Maybe the reload drains stamina. That could be something, because it was tiring. You had to, uh, you either had to pull the string back, depending on what kind of crossbow it was, or some of them had that winch that you put, like, the two teeth on the string and, and crank the winch back. Maybe that's what drains your stamina with the crossbow, so you almost have to yeah. weigh the option, like, do I, do I dare to reload now while I have a couple enemies chasing after me? Or do I... You know, just fire, have it, uh, you know, and, and that's it. You just get the one shot. <laughs> Said it's too hard. Yeah, it is a pretty hard game. I remember I got very frustrated with it at the start. Uh, I thought Ow. I thought the game what was wrong and I didn't realize that I was the one doing some of the stuff wrong like i wasn't letting it progress i thought you were gonna stay dog shit throughout but there's no doubt it's a hard game and i feel like that's what most of the people that have something negative yeah. to say they're like oh it's boring it's like it's not boring you just have to wait for it now it is a slow burn you know it's not like skyrim where by the third quest you're the dragonborn and a once in a generation hero and have all these superpowers like it's not that but you can definitely get pretty overpowered especially when you have something like the head cracker what full plate like armor uh the master strike and like in a mace oh you can you can fuck up a town with that i'm interested uh-huh a physician i have a few wounds yeah. I desperately takes a few hours trade. get out of that the tutorial but you'll pay in listen to the dialogue explore that's a big one could to discover some of the stuff and the game just grows on you. Hi. Here it is. I'm sure you good luck then. Ooh, Rat Eye Torney. The Master Strike is OP. And I've mentioned that. I hope they have a new blocking system to where it makes yeah. you it makes you kind of have to earn a master strike like either you have to block three in a row or you have to match the movement or like a timing or something yeah i want the master strike to be fixed because it's far too easy to just block everything um but uh yeah, yeah there's other than that some really good stuff for it all right let's try to knock out i know katie had mentioned earlier the quest for lady stephanie we have the moldavite working let's see hopefully this is before the combat master gets there oh you know what we might have to talk to yeah it's not gonna spawn we're gonna have to work our way through that well actually what time is it we might have to haul our asses yeah. over to Townburg before the 
the horse race starts. What are you playing? God be with. Why are you so mad, ladies? And what wine? Ah, ah. Would beer as a gift? Then that's going to be a problem. Shit. Isn't there any? Unfortunate. Can I enroll? In but of course. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to. I'm sorry. That so happy. Well, what's the matter? She certainly knows how to cook. Her food is excellent. The bushes but do it for you. More like sir. No as doubt. far as Maybe the way the bushes true. look, or the and fact that they have the so, biggest collision windows well of everything, because I I run well, without the uh, the bushes collision mod. So I can go straight through the bushes. May the Lord watch over you. Watch it. You can't draw your weapon here. Yeah. Hema competition these days. It's War Child Windmill. Now, see, I wish I knew more of Lay of the Land so I knew where that was. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> or Hema, but anything they add, I'd be excited to see. Where is this wine keg kept? Can we, uh, can we maybe lockpick it? Is it in there? Ooh, that would be fun. Hang on. Maybe we can do it. Okay. Let's save. In case this goes terribly wrong for us. Oh, no! I'm sorry, buddy. You didn't deserve it. And we can't even lockpick it. Okay, tell me he has it on his body. Trunk key. Maybe that'll do it. Nope, that doesn't do it either. Mother effer. Is it in here? No, it's not. Where is that wine wine kept? Oh, no, we killed him for no reason. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Uh, we might have to do another, you know what? I have another idea on how we can get that one. I need a cooking pot. Nope. Not getting into there. What part didn't you understand? Uh, all of it. What's he? Oh, is he telling me about my weapon? You're not going to do anything, dude. Get out of here. Uh, do none of these fucking peasants have cooking pots? Stop waving that weapon around here, or I'll go and get a guard. Oh, you bunch of plebs. Okay. We'll go to Old Faithful. We'll have to go to, uh, to the hunting. To the huntsman. He's always looking out for us. He's got a cooking pot out and ready for us. We can toss in another lockpicking buff and see if we can't do that. Um, Padfoot. There we go. Now we can go and lockpick that chest. I want to say the wine's in there before it gets one. I'm pretty sure it is. But since we can't equip a bow, that's that's pretty much the only way we're going to be able to acquire it. Is by stealing it. We can't even enter into the contest. There we go. That did it. Now we can lockpick this. Please be in here. There it is. All right. So we got the wine. Let's head back and do the uh, the yeah. horse race. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> that, that like jump scares me every time because he yells and the camera goes fucking ape shit. And it gets me every single time. That's why I hate it. 
a max reputation run. Technically, no one saw us, so we didn't really get into anyone's bad books with doing that one. But yes, we are trying to be the the ultimate hero. Uh, kill the archery master, steal the wine, and that's how we that's how we win. <laughs> yeah. Master Archer, Strong Kuno, all defeated by stairs. Clearly. Clearly, because stairs are the real enemy. Stairs and apparently low-hanging archways. That's the only stuff that's really gotten us in trouble. Latrodon, don't, don't, don't come down on me like that. I couldn't do the archery. I had no other choice. I can't even start the archery contest. Give me a break here. I'm, I'm doing what I can. Besides, if that guy had just let me choke him out, we wouldn't have that issue. Instead, he tried to fight, like Straw did earlier, and he paid the fucking price. No sympathy. He chose that. He chose that for himself. Okay, hopefully we- oh my yeah. god, we- we really have to get, get a move on it. I did not realize how thin we were cutting it to get back to, uh, Townburg in time for that fucking horse race. I figured we'd have plenty of time, and now we got about an hour and a half. And if you're not there, like, right at noon, that's it. He does not do it. You just lose automatically. He doesn't fuck around. We should make it. We should. <laughs> For 10 days, we are one trip to jail for murder away from that guy being reborn and replaced. I don't feel too bad. Yeah, I'll have to live with this mistake for the next 10 in-game days of my life. And that's fine. Really? You don't like the horse race? It's hard? Oh, no. I'm about to show you a way to make it easy. See, it's not about winning the whole thing throughout. It's about knowing when to cheat to win. No, because Latrodon, you have to use the exact same horse every single time. Yeah, Fee. Fee knows what's up. Yeah, that's exactly it. You could be in dead last place the entire time. It's just knowing when to break off the path. And stamina management of the horse. You have to be smart with uh, with stamina management on this given horse because you can't use your own. You have to use the one that Zora gives you. So everyone's kind of, you know, no matter how good your horse is, you're all going to be in the same boat. But it's knowing when to break off and cheat because they even tell you, you don't have to follow the path. You can do whatever path you want. And then you can kind of go off and do your own thing. Now, I will be dropping this pole arm along with my horse just inside of here. On this bridge, I think. It's a nice little flat spot. Yep. Give our pole arm a nice little place to, to sit. Uh, what time is it? Okay. We, we have time to spare. Good. There's Zora's Dappled Gray. Let's knock this out. You guys both stay here, okay? Be good while daddy's away. Daddy's got to go win a horse. Horse race. Yeah. And... Hang on a fucking second. Did we not set up the horse race? I could have sworn yeah. we did. Oh, mother... Fucker. 
Did we not talk to- Oh my god, this is what- You see, this is the thing that quest markers are gonna fuck me on. So yep. Kivish has sent me about the race. Race? Ugh. Yes. Hmm, but what's your- Actually, Zora? Yes. I hope with- Do you know- I do. Alright, bring the- Alright, God be with you. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess we didn't set up the horse race. Tomorrow at noon. Okay. That went horribly wrong. I was hoping to knock out all these side quests all in one swoop, and it did not work whatsoever. So, here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. We have several side quests active right now. As we speak. So we got the Moldavite. We still need to get the Roan from Ujits. Uh, we have several things to do in Sasau, and then we have this horse race. That should take us a couple of hours. So this is a good, this is a good leaving off point. Because when we load up tomorrow, we can do some side quests at the start. So if you're not able to be here exactly on time, perfectly fine. We'll just kind of be messing around, do some side quests, mess around a little bit. Tomorrow, 1 p.m., central time 2 p.m est or uh what will it be 22 hours from right now exactly 22 hours from right now uh is going to be the reveal of the new warhorse game so i'll be live for that we'll we'll be chatting we'll be streaming uh we'll watch it all together we'll react we'll cry we'll dance do all that and then the run after the announcement after we talk after we do all that we'll continue the run but like i said it's uh, at the start if you're not able to be here right on time that's fine we'll we'll clean up some of these side quests we'll continue on with the main quest um but yeah that's uh tomorrow is gonna be a good one i agree with you henry of scallets hopefully you come back to see us very soon uh, as warhorse announces your um your sequel game everyone in chat make sure to say hello to henry he's come to see us in the chat but uh yeah that'll be the plan um i'm excited I, that's that's all i can really say right now uh tomorrow is gonna be a big day i'm excited can't wait to start can't wait to uh to go back on and stream we'll do all that but yeah um that'll be the plan for now let's go ahead and pop down a save we'll pause I'll stay here so I remember where I'm at, and, um, yeah, everyone that's able to join us tomorrow, please, be here, we'll, uh, we'll all have a, uh, a fun time together, so, until then, thank you all for coming to see me, and, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, alright? Y'all have a good one, bye-bye.